What is up, guys? You are well quick, both of you. What up, Vulture and Mr. Mime? Good to see you guys. Hey, brother, long time. Hope you're doing well. Dude, good to have you back. I'm doing quite good. It's nice. Weather's getting better. Stay awake just for this. Oh, right. You're you're in India, right, Vulture? Damn. Damn, I, I, I'm i very, very... 2.40? 2.40 a.m., brother. What the fuck? Well, thank you so much, Vulture, for coming along. I, that's that's huge that you want to stay away for that. Stay awake for that. We got the deal for real. What up? We got Darian. Welcome to the stream, guys. Apparently, Australia. Oh, so even even worse. If you were in India, I think it would be like what, twelve or one a.m. Yeah, Australia is like as far away as you can get, pretty much. I mean, I guess New Zealand is, you know, close enough, or sort of further away. But um, yeah. Wow. What up? Bismarck, welcome to the stream. Anyways, guys, there's a new event. Um, and I actually think this might be an event. Without having looked at the numbers. This might be an event where everybody can get a free commander. Like, uh, the first time in two years. Oh, Privyet Alexander, welcome to the stream, man. But, as you can see, you can get a legendary commander. Um, Mako Matarazzi. And I, I don't really know what he's supposed to be on, because... You know, looking at this, I'm thinking, it's a Napoli commander. He's got Mistweaver Plus, Secondary Overload, also not Overload, Close Quarters Combat Expert, la yada yada yada. But then he's got Preheating Plus, ex Exploit Weakness Plus, which, like, you know, any 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 ship that is Italian that is not a Rogolo is not going to be setting a lot of fires, <laughs> or floods for that matter. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I guess we'll have to test this commander out during, uh, during the NA part to kind of figure out what he what he fits on. I mean, I have no clue where to put this guy. You're saying it's kind of err, uh, Mr. Mime. But how, okay, we're going to check how do you gain, tro you know, tokens? How do you actually grind them? And how many do you get per, you know, threshold or whatever? Um, challenges. Okay, Matarazzi at the helm. So you need to get 10,000 to get the commander. That's... You know, two one 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 point nine k. That's two point four, three point four, three point nine, four point nine, six point four, uh, six point four, seven point four, eight. Oh wow! <laughs> you need to play a lot just to get a commander, man. You will, you can get the commander for free if you actually do it. But okay, you get something here. So what's this? Play fight, fight battles. Okay, this is. It, it might be kind of, uh, you don't really get a new ship, but I will say this. I'm not going to complain with Wargaming lets me grind to a legendary commander for free. Because this is definitely possible. And, um, yeah, let's just get right into it so I can get some wins. Uh, yeah, we need to win a lot of games. 12,900. 12, okay, so you do actually get more than you need, but, like, you don't, you'll probably get 10k before that, you know. Oh, it's always 12.9. Don't scroll down the rewards. <laughs> 100 for MVP, 90 for a second. Okay, it's the exact same thing. Well, there are more rewards if you scroll down. Wait, it didn't stop there? Does this stop at 100? Wait, what's this? Veteran Victory Blitz? Oh, that's always there. No, that's all that there, there is. Uh... What about this? Well, I guess we're going to be playing some Blitz to, to hopefully get wins. Um, <laughs> that could be hard. Let's take some good ships then. I really want to get this Legendary Commander. You know, it's it's, it's not very often that, um, you know, we actually 
get free legendary commanders. I don't like Matarazzi after the Sidan incident. Okay, so I, I don't know what happened there. All I know is that Sidan uh, headbutted somebody in a game and got a red card. And for that reason, I never respected him. But I don't know what Matarazzi did, and it could be worse than what Sidan did. So please, please enlighten me, bro. I actually kind of want to know now. Because I have no clue who Matarazzi is. And apparently he's some kind of football legend or icon. Uh, I feel kind of stupid for not knowing him. And they'll just play CVs for, oh yeah, for wins. I mean, yeah, if you want to get easy wins, div up with the CV and it's pretty doable. The commander and the Duca. In the ward, scroll down the commander and Duca. Oh, you mean like the, the event shop? Or what do you mean specifically, Vulture? Is it like the, the challenge thing, you know, where you get the currencies? Or is it the, the event shop you're talking about? Because you can also buy titanium, you can buy free XP, you could buy the, the, the Duca. I mean, for me, the, the most worth is the commander. Because, I, you know, he's pretty good for Napoli. Like, actually quite good for Napoli, because he's got the secondary buff. Not that it does so, you know, it doesn't do that much. But you also get um, Mist Weaver Plus, which is kind of huge to have. Ole, ole, ole. Interesting guy right here. Well, um, oh, I wish I would have waited a little bit and shot at Takahashi instead. Oh my god, what are these guys doing? Just going straight into the combat zone. Let's go. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to try flanking this game. Nah, I, w I don't want to shoot an FDG. I, I want to get some soft targets, man. Where are they at? The soft targets are nowhere to be found. I guess we'll have to shoot at this guy. Yeah, it's probably a good thing we left. There's a lot of ships over there. Okay, relax. We're gonna we're gonna leave. I know you don't like my presence. I'll I'll, I'll respect it and leave. Ooh. Ah, he's not broadside enough. Let's just help finish this guy off. Let's turn around. Udaloy is almost dead. That's good. Well, this could, this could really go ahead and be a very frustrating stream. Because if I just lose all the games I play, <laughs> I'm going to get very frustrated. That's the only bad thing about these events, man. It's If you don't win, it's not very fun. But I guess that kind of fits for anything in life. If you're not winning, it's not fun. Okay, that's a little bit better. Yeah, we need to cap. So, um... I didn't realize all of my teammates are flanking, so I should probably just get back in the cap. I, we, we are not allowed to flank this game. <laughs> Some other people, you know, decided they should flank, and that's six players, man. Six players, guys. I guess I'm just as guilty as them, so. Okay, you know what? That Holland, he is pulling a lot of weight, my guy. Holland's doing all the work. <laughs> I'm sorry, Holland, I didn't realize... Let's go. Let's get in there, man. We got to we got to help Holland. I mean, they're not here either, so we should just be able to pick this cap up for free. Mm, Takahashi, nope. I'm not in range. There's an island. Okay, there's something in the capture zone here with us. Oh, it's the daring. Okay. Oh, and this guy as well. I think he might be dead. Come on. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. Alright, we're finally flipping this bitch. Let's go. <laughs> I, I, I have such a big amount of respect for that Holland player. He's There's very few types of people like him in this world or in this game that actually just stay in a cap no matter what. He did. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I did not expect that. <laughs> what the fuck? How, how did he hit that torpedo? It was... It was you know, it, he act, he actively maneuvered into it because it was not very, you know, well aimed. I guess it was well aimed because it killed him. Oh, come on. Give me some damage, man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, right, Alexander? I, I also did not expect him to die there. 
But I mean, St. Vincent, it's it just does things. Alright, let's try that one. I think Takahashi might be dead here too. That's kind of bad dispersion though. Ah, we if we got a citadel there, that it could have it could have happened. I want to brawl the Kremlin for some reason. I don't know why, I just kind of feel like it. <laughs> Riga is really flanking. Good to see. Uh, okay, I guess we'll flank. Oh, sorry, not flank. We'll go brawl the uh, Isumo instead. Yep, there they are. Ah, event shop. Okay, yeah, let's check out the event shop. You're right. Let's see what, it, what, what can you actually get. Now that a proper commander is there, I might pick up Napoli on NA. Like, it's, it's, there's a lot of commanders that Napoli actually benefits from. Uh, what's his face? Campioni, Inigo Campioni is quite good. And the other one is, I can't remember his name, but it's the ones that give an extra smoke. They are really nice to have. I mean, either getting an extra smoke or having better smokes is, is worth it for Napoli. And obviously the secondary skill really helps. I mean, they. Okay, they. We are ahead now, but it just looked like it was kind of even a couple seconds ago. Oh wow, it's with Saint Vitz, right? It's you just get damage. You just get it randomly. It feels. You you look at your damage. You're like, oh, I don't have that much damage, and then two minutes later, it's already over a hundred thousand, and I didn't even like, you know, try to. Oh, nice dodge, Kremlin. Nice dodge. Yeah, we're, we're gonna cross the T on this motherfucker. <laughs> Crossing the T, baby. You know what? We're gonna maximize damage, people. Maximizing damage. Yeah! Maximizing damage, baby. Alright, GG. I'll, that's a good first game. But I mean, for St. Vincent's standard, it's, it's not that good. Congrats to 1,500 members. Oh, with 1,500 members, that would be something crazy. But yeah, dude, we got 1,500 subscribers. That's quite crazy. I, I was thinking if I should do something for it, but I thought I was going to, you know, just say, say thank you on stream when we have all a lot of people here. But yeah, we, we hit it last night, or was it two days ago? It's quite, quite insane, actually, to think about... 1500 people man like if you put 1500 people in, in a room they would take up a lot of space i mean yeah again saint vincent just does things you don't know how it happens but it just happens where giveaway i mean should i ask wargaming <laughs> i i guess i should have planned it a little bit better because i i had stuff to give away in the beginning of the month but i gave it away before i hit 1500 you know what it was an early giveaway guys early celebration do you really know not know the story about Sidan and Marco? No, I, I know what Sidan did in a game where he just, you know, gonked somebody in the head with his own head. At the 2006 World Championship, Marco said something unpleasant. Oh, I think I've heard about that, right. It was something involving Sidan's family, right? And you, you don't talk about a man's family, at least not in a negative way. And if if it is that, which I don't know, I just have a, I don't know, I have a, an inkling it's something about that. I feel like I've heard about it. Yeah, you don't do that. You don't do that. Totally agree. It's like, you know, talking about somebody's mom in a bad way. Like, you just don't do it, bro. So then headbutted him and earned a red card. Okay, so that's why he did it. Oh, okay. There's some context here. I mean, it's fair that he gets a red card because, like, it's, it's not there that he should, you know, figure out his uh, personal issues with the guy. But it still doesn't change the fact that you sh whatever he said, you shouldn't say stuff like that to your, you know, your competitor. It's it, oh, yeah, it's just stupid, stupid thing. But kind of weird he gets a um, he gets a, a, a commander in this game. Like why why Matarazzi? Why not Cristiano Ronaldo or or Messi or something? Okay, I guess Messi doesn't work because he's from Argentina, and it's the European Championships. In the end. Uh, Italy won on penalties. I remember that game actually um, because I remember vividly seeing Sidan headbutt the guy and then they go to penalties and then they end up winning because 
my big sister's half Italian, so obviously we we root for the Italians. Or at least I did back then. Oh yeah, Napoli, we can do Napoli. Uh, uh, get the notes. Get the notes. Get the Napoli on the list. I mean, Slay74 did when he reached 50. Well, I guess I should have thought about that. Um... I don't know. I, d I didn't think Wargaming gave away stuff for giveaways. I didn't think that was something they did. For reaching milestones. Because, you know, I never got anything. That's a, that's a lie. They do it for a thousand. I didn't know they did it for 500s. They do for a thousand, but... For 500? I never heard of that. I mean, I'll, I'll message him right now, I guess. But I don't think, it, I don't think it's going to be possible. You know what we're going to try. After this game, we'll try mine. Are you sure, though? Are you sure it's a thing? That when Sly had 1500, he did it? Because I don't want to be asking them and be like, Oh. No, that's not the case. Okay, then I'm just going to look stupid. Mm, we got a Harukumo. Actually, the new map. Wow. That's lovely. Lovely seeing a new map. He can only say no at worst, mate. That's true. That is true. What, what is this thing out here? This is a bad idea, man. But there's... Two... Look at all these Prince Rupricks, though. <laughs> what, are they, what are they thinking? I really don't want to shoot the Ruprecht. I'd much rather shoot the Louisiana just because it's a Louisiana. But I guess Ruprechts like this should be punished. In the end, he... Oh, that's, I read something again. Oh, no, no, no. Not the Torps. Not the Torps. I think I might have to go for this guy. Since he's shooting at me. Alright. Uh, three people should be able to deal with a Harugumu. And I'm very sad to see that our Smolensk is actually running away from the Harugumu. Quite possibly the best ship to deal with the DD. And then he's running away like a coward. Good shit, man. Good shit. I mean, Colombo is also good at it, but oh, there's two of them. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping this guy will take them out because I can't really move before then. So we believe in you, Hansi. We all believe in you. You have to do it. Okay, no, it's not Hansi's fault. Our team is just falling apart. I'm believing in, I'm believing in the Smolensk player, man. Big time. He's got the good ship, you know. <laughs> so by logic he should do good it's gold giveaways which side i i r c what the hell does that mean bro i don't know all you uh all you giat giat gen alpha kids all your language I, I really don't understand it i i r c if i remember correctly is, is that it that would make sense okay we lost um this guy <laughs> We're just going to sit here, I think, because uh, Harugumo is, I mean, he's probably launched torpedoes, so. One? One shell hit, bro? Are you kidding? Dude, I am actually flabbergasted that this guy has yet to take out those two DDs. Freebie for Smolensk. Oh, man, R rip this Col Colombo who... <laughs> Who's been stuck here? <laughs> oh man, no, why is there- oh, Come on, Hansi, why are you running away? It's a fucking Fletcher, bro. Load AP and destroy him. It takes two salvos, bro. You're done. That's it. No. Guys, when you play Smolensk, you, you should be- You should be screaming happy thoughts when you see a DD. It's the freest kill in the world. Okay, so it was if I remember correctly. Thank you for dropping by, Linio. Good to see you. You know what, we'll message Mal Valk right now. Uh, fuck man, I hate... I hate Discord sometimes. Why are you always on my main screen? Okay, um, hey Valk. I know I do a lot of giveaways. <laughs> but I recently hit 1500 subs. Uh, can I? I mean, he, pr he might not answer me right now since I probably probably went home for work and 
for that milestone. But if if he says yes, you know, tomorrow or something, I can always do a giveaway next stream. This thing in the barn while working, dude. <laughs> That's epic. Good to see you, Soulfire. Welcome to the stream. Let's get out of this hellhole. Let's see what this Smolensk here, how he's doing. Okay. Oh, oh shit, he's got two guys, two DDs. Oh my god, Hansi. <laughs> Hansi, for fuck's sake. <laughs> stop, stop playing, guys. Stop playing Smolensk if you're not going to be taking out DDs. If you're scared of a destroyer in a Smolensk, you, you, you should stop playing Smolensk. That's pretty simple. What's up, Velocity? Yo, I want to win some games, so if you want to join me and help me out, I don't want to be stuck with these uh, solo guys. This is EU Warrior, but I, I play on both servers. Um, every stream I tend to do half and half, so the first half of the stream is going to be Europe, and the last half is going to be NA. I'm able to teaming up for a couple of games. Yeah, dude, I, I, I don't want to get stuck with a Hansi again. Hansi is not my kind of guy. No, 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 Hansi. You know what? You know what? I want to play Smolensk. I want to get a free win. And I want to kill DDs and show how, how to destroy DDs with Smolensk. But the first, we got to do a Napoli game. N -n Napoli, there it is. How about these missions? Can we... So... Am I the only one who, when you don't play a lot of Destroyer, when you get the, this type of mission board, man, I'm, oh, a thousand damage of flooding, cost two floodings, cost two floodings, two times in a battle or something like that. It's just, bro, can I have something with shell hits? Which one do we replace? This one's actually kind of difficult, two times in a battle. Okay, Citadel damage, I'll take it, man. Um, We can cost flooding two times. Should be possible. Oh boy. So, how many have actually grinded through this event? I know it just came out today, and probably not on NA yet, but... Is, is this all there is to the event? Because if it's if it's just this, I mean, it's 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 nice with, you know, free-to-play free to stuff. I mean, you can actually get some of this, but... Again, we don't really have a chance to get a high-tier ship or anything, a tier 8 or... You know, they could, they could have sold Black Amalfi for, like... 7,000 of those tokens. So some people might say, you know what, I'd rather have Black Amalfi than I would have the leg Legendary Commander. I think that's why it feels a little bit stale. I don't know. Stale event. That's something new in Blitz, man. We have the most banging events in this game. But again, I'll say this. This is a better event than most we've had because we can actually grind whatever is on offer, which is quite rare. Quite rare. Okay, crash zone. We'll do it. Okay, so IIRC is, if I remember correctly, I don't care is I IDC, and then I don't know is IDK, and then IG is, I guess, correct? NGL, not gonna lie. Be I've I've learned I've because of YouTube I've you know encountered a lot of these uh, what do they call abbreviations I think and god damn there's a lot of them now like right when I was coming up on the internet it was like oh my god YOLO swag swag is not really an abbreviation oh come on dude are oh, you kidding? thank you thank you Maria Amy for not for for not going straight you you are a good bot look at that. How much is Rugolo with the discount? Uh, I could check that after. Well, actually, no, I can't. I Unless I can see it, even though I have Rugolo. I can't quite remember if that's possible, but I'll, I'll check. But, I mean, I have it, so there's a chance we can't see it. Alright, Velocity. We got some... Uh, we got a Napoli on the enemy team. And no DDs except the Somers. Okay, there is one then. Okay, that Napoli is, uh, let him cook. Let him cook, baby. Oh. Yeah, we have to stop right here. And, uh, I, I don't want to get hit by any Somers torpedoes. I, I have to kind of wait until I see the torps. 
And we're holding the, the overload, so we have it ready for Somers when he's going to show up. And it looks like he's going to do that soon. Yep. Well, he went for the Ruprecht. Thank you, sir. I think you've got him velocity. You can finish him off if you want. I'll go for this guy instead. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Why is he not shooting at me, this guy? Is he going for you? He must be going for velocity here because he's not really doing anything to me. Nice. Clean up, bro. Good clean up. Nice, nice, nice. See, this is what we needed. We just needed one competent teammate. <laughs> Not another Hanzi, bro. I can't, I can't have another Hanzi in my game. Come on, let's get some nice hits on this dude. Yeah, baby. Alright, let's hold here. Wait for his torpedoes. Or... Oh, he, wow. That is some very, very unlucky timing. As soon as I pressed my overload, he used his smoke. Bad timing, then. Bad timing. Waste, waste of an overload. Big time waste. But once we get this guy... There's only those two guys over at A, which should definitely be doable. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. I just realized I have uh, premium heals on. I was supposed to be saving those, so I probably need to remove them. Oh, he's all yours, Velocity. He's all yours. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Yeah, he fell into our trap. Look at this guy. <laughs> Get him, boy. Yeah, let's go. I'll probably cook for a bit in Hiromi's realm on my people playing on AM. That's totally cool, man. I I get it. The NA, the NA part is what you guys are here for. Hey Bob, what would you recommend using the legendary command in the event shop? Dude, I I just talked about this earlier a couple minutes ago in the stream that the only ship I really see him, you know, being tailor made for is Napoli or Giuseppe Verdi or something. But he's got some weird skills where I'm like doesn't really fit a brawling ship. If you think about Napoli, he's got exploit weakness, right? And preheating plus. Sure, it could be beneficial to be faster in a Napoli, but the, the, the problem with preheating plus, in my opinion, is you you just have a higher chance of overextending. So I actually feel Marco Matarazzi is kind of like an oddball commander. He's got some really nice skills for certain ships, but only one. Whereas if you take something like Halsey, the reason he fits so well on Austin is because a lot of the skills benefited. Whereas with this Italian commander, he only benefits certain things on certain ships. I'm so passed up for this event. <laughs> the new late commander is Omega Suus. Right, that's also what I thought. Like, I, 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 I think he's a good commander, but he's, he doesn't have, you know, all the skills to make for example Napoli better this is Iacino who I also think is better for Napoli it, it, and, and this because you get this Daredevil plus is quite nice for Napoli um, but the best one the best one for Napoli is Inigo Campioni the reason being Inigo Campioni gives you an extra smoke and that's just crazy all right let's see we are gonna do Smolensk guys because it pissed me off royally that I had a Smolensk player who played worse than a tier 1 DD player uh, somebody who never played the game before. So we're going to have to redeem him. No mercy, hey, Bob. I like the fresh shave, man. Thank you, bro. But <laughs> it's not going to stay for long. Guys, you, you know what? I mean, not that it was going to change anything. But I, I, I said to Neo, I was like, look. I'm only doing this for me. But, of course, your opinion matters. But my stream thinks this the mustache should go back. And I think so, too. And she was like, yeah, actually, I agree. Biggest win of my life, man. I mean, not that it matters, but, you know, it's nice when your girlfriend also approves of your mustache. So, yeah, it's coming back. But it's also nice to kind of, you know, have a, sh have a nice, clean baby face, you know. 
Yeah, if I was in the military active duty, they would have fucking destroyed me for that mustache. Okay, you know what I mean. DD, they're only cruisers. My bad, only cruisers. Bring back the mustache. I got. Don't worry, guys. I have. I haven't shaved it ever since I took it off. Uh, we're, we're gonna. We're gonna work on getting it back. But I still appreciate No Mercy's comment. You know. All right. This is. This is how you kill a DD with Smolensk. You take AP. You aim right here. You aim the shell, and it's very, very simple. I hope Hansi is watching because Hansi did not like DDs in Smolensk. He was actually afraid of them, which I don't get. At all. Look at that. That's one down. It didn't even take a minute. We'll go on to the next one. Oh, Conqueror. Good shit. Let's just back up. I did see a Grosser Curve first player in this game, so... You know. I will have to find him at some point. Damn, it's not very often Bob plays Smolensk, but when I do, I kill the Destroyers. Wow, we have not been lucky with these fires. Um, hello? Isn't this supposed to be broken? There we go. Excuse me, Wargaming. Where are my 17 fires that I was hoping to get when I when I had this ship? I want to get a Witherer, dude. There we go. That's the triple. That's how I want it. That's how we want it, baby. Yeah, now they're okay. Now we're now we're doing it. it. We're cooking now. We're actually cooking. There we go. Triple fire, beautiful. Well, I think we can push out now. Some let's running away from DDs aren't completely out of the question, considering ninety percent. <laughs> True, my my ninety percent of the player base is dented, and obviously, if you're somewhat dented, you are very afraid of Fletchers. As I get my wither very quickly. Don't kill me here. I am very broadside, my dear. <laughs> okay, that could have been way worse, bro. And we will farm this man because he's the most HP out of all of them. But then again, he's going away. So let's just... Des Moines is actually deadly to me, so... That's a fire on Des Moines. He's going to damage control. Yep, there it is. We can get one more on GK. Yeah, there we go. Smolensk, Smolensk. It's too easy, it's too easy. I mean, I seriously don't get people who play this for over 3,000 battles. Don't you, like, get bored at, at some point? I mean, I, I guess not. I mean, otherwise, why would you play it over and over again? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is just bullying, bro. This is straight up bullying. I will say though, if you're if you're in this GK's predicament, I would shoot at the smoke. Most small edge players don't even move when they when they you know sit still in the smoke. So it's very very easy to get hits on them, and most most smoked up cruisers don't expect it. All right, we'll probably get 150, maybe hopefully. I hope this guy heals. That'd be lovely. Heal, please. No. If Alsace gets the triple fire here, I'm going to be a very sad boy. Alright, let's get that AP. Hey, dude, I'm fully broadside to you. Please take a shot. I, I want you to take a shot at me. Okay, we broke 150. There we go. GG. You should play AP Smolensk. I mean, that's that's something that's more viable. And I actually have done it on stream before. It's 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 pretty simple. When you play AP Smolensk, you just decide your targeting priority list is a little bit different. It's DD's cruisers, battleships. Hey, what up, Nicholas? I'd rather play Druid than Smolensk. Same. Same. But I don't own Druid, so... And this, this was simply because I got so pissed off of seeing a Smolensk player just be so scared that I thought, you know what? This is what I want to do, but I mean, look at the team. It's full of bots. It's full of bots. There wasn't really anything crazy about that game right there. Okay, we've we've played Smolensk now. We uh, we got 30 hands, guys. If you got any requests, let me know. But do keep in mind, I am trying to win. So if I don't take a request, it's because I think it's not viable. <laughs> I feel like playing Grosser Boy. Not a good ship, but not bad either. 
Hey, what up, Mikey? Welcome to the stream. How's the Eve? Pretty good, man. You know, one thing that, that really makes me happy nowadays is I've noticed that when I start my stream, there's still light outside, which for me mentally makes me very happy. I mean, I don't know if you... It's probably not the, the same in the US or other, ways, or other places in the world, but you know, at least in Scandinavia and the northern parts of the world, you know, our, our winters, the nights are extremely long. So there's like very, very little amount of sunlight. And we get something called winter depression. It's very, very normal here to people literally get depressed because they don't get enough D vitamins. <laughs> so when I see the sun, I'm like, oh, yes, let's go. Play autism. I mean, aut yeah, Dude, we all have a little bit of autism, right? You know, autism has reached a point where it's actually kind of cool. I mean, I, I know a lot of people that don't think it's cool, but I mean, it's better than when it was 20 years ago, where people didn't even, didn't even understand it. Like, a lot of people say, I'm, I am I have autism. I'm like, sure. If you want me to have autism, I'll have that. But I, I mean, I don't need to be diagnosed for anything because my, I'm fine, you know? It's, it's good. It's what it is, man. All right, let's go. We got Gunter Luchens here. Oh, we got the Slava main too. This is going to be a banger. We got a Slava main, guys. Woo! <laughs> Bro should have ground up gearing instead of pro supply. Ground up gearing? So do you grind your own gearings? What, 80-20% lean? I grind my gearing. You should really grind your own gearings. I've given be giving, giving. I've been giving this a lot of thought, and I think noobs literally need a video showing how to steer properly. Boat mechanics is not all... True, true. I mean, knowing how to maneuver is, is actually quite big. Um, yeah, because you're right. Ships aren't mo moving like a car, you know, they're drifting. Um, which is also why if you want to be a naval officer, you need to have a really good degree in physics. At least here where I, where I live, and I suck at physics, so... And I was like, why do I need to know about physics? And he's just like, well, you're, you're steering a six or 7,000 ton ship. You you can't make mistakes. I guess that's a good point. Okay, so he smoked up. Um, I'm going to wait. Wait a little bit, and he's not going to get hit by my torps. So I guess we'll just start farming. Oh, we're going to be flanking this game. We are going to flank. No. Okay, that was lucky, dude. <gasps> we have a Vermont flanking? Yo, what is life, dude? Welcome to Europe. Am I right? This is this is prime Europe territory right here, man. All right. Cool. We will do this. Smoke up and start farming. I mean, I don't know what this guy is up to, but I, I promise you, I swear... Whoa! Okay, Louis MC, he knows, he knows. He's, he's a Chad. This guy is not a dumb Goliath player. See, this is what I said, guys. It's not that hard to hit somebody in the smoke because they're not thinking you're going to hit them. Yeah, he's still shooting. <laughs> scary. That's actually very scary because one more salvo from Goliath and I'm a very dead man. Or anything from this big guy right here, you know, wouldn't be great either. See, I would be very sad if my run here was ruined by a good Goliath player. Oh no, why does he have HE, bro? What the hell? Bro, what? Who are these players? Who are these players, bro? HE Vermont on the flank? I, I, I bit off more than I could chew, that's for sure. We're out, we're out, we're gone. Okay, I'm sorry, Vermont. I am very sorry, Vermont. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. We gotta go stealth here. <laughs> oh my god. What a fucking menace. Somebody get this guy in the mental institution. He seriously needs help. If he's this cracked. Somebody call Broadmoor, man. This guy's this guy's fucking butt nutty. He's crazy. Well, I guess we're gonna go for it again. <laughs> And I didn't hit the torps. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Okay, this I I'm I might have underestimated Casp here. Good old Casp. And he's actually gonna trap me here in a second. 
Um. Um. Oh wait, the dive bomb. Oh fuck. Oh no no no. Oh my god. Yeah, the planes are actually coming over here too. Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. <laughs> oh my god. We gotta go, baby. We got. Oh. Oh no 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 no. no. Bro, I swear I'm I'm good. I'm a I'm a good man, Vermont. I don't I don't deserve this, Vermont. Uh... <laughs> How am I alive? How am I alive? Please don't kill me, Vermont. I'm a good guy. I'm a good man. I'm a good man, Vermont. Please. <laughs> Holy shit! This Vermont is buck naughty, man. He's buck naughty. I can't claim that title. This guy is. Actually, very scary to play against. And even we even dodged, dodged those torpedoes. I was for sure thinking I was a dead man right there. All right, Casp. Oh fuck, the planes are coming too. We, we just have to kind of hope he doesn't do a cracked shot here. Yeah, I was gonna get spotted by the fighters. That's why I had to do that. And he turned into. Oh, he's turning out now. That's good. Oh my god, this is actually kind of huge. My my torpedo strike worked out better than I could have imagined. I think we just need to do AP now. Yeah, we need to do AP right now. Oh, bro. His secondaries can kill us. Um, Oh, he's healing too. Oh no, that's not his secondaries. <laughs> that's not his secondaries. That was definitely main battery HE. What a, f what a crazy guy, man. Casper, I respect you a lot. That was cool. That, that, that's a Vermont who's dedicated to flanking. I mean, he's still got HE loaded. Um, <laughs> there's a Slava full HP. This is what I say, guys. Slava mains are good. L look, at, look at how well Vitara camped this game. No HP lost. And now it's just a free kill. Boom. Just like that. V Slava mains are so skills. <laughs> that's especially true when it comes to slightly more advanced maneuvering, like reversing and angling. To, to, yeah, very, very true. I mean, just the basic thing of knowing that if if you put a ship in full reverse and counter rudder, you're going to turn the opposite direction and you're going to turn faster. It would be like that in real life, too. Of course, uh, it's going to take a lot longer for the engines to go spinning this way to spinning this way. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I could probably do a video about... Uh, I did a video way back in the day for beginners that about dodging torpedoes. And that actually, I could do a little bit of, um, you know, I expansion on that. Full K. Oh, oh, of course. Oh, it's House Carl. Don't worry. It's a, ho it's a house man. He's just a butler. The monster being a verminous. <laughs> what would you say the differences are in play styles between NA and EU? I've only ever played NA, but people talk about... It. Yeah, I, I haven't played Asia, but... The way I see it, and it took me a little bit of time to know how to put it, but Europe is a lot more like Asia in the sense that people camp, and there's a lot of CV players, like a fuck ton of them. There's a lot of, and this is from my perspective, so I, you know, if you have a different opinion, that's totally cool, but this is the way I see it. And NA is a lot more aggressive in their playstyle, and this is not saying somebody's better or worse or vice versa. This is just what way I see it. EU camper galore cv fest you know play smolensk play slava play that and na is way more you know chaos uh, there's the same amount of potatoes on each server but the potatoes on na in my opinion they at least know the objectives of the game most of the time potatoes on eu don't and that could be a language barrier but you can't actually say that because the game comes in different languages, and NA is not all English speakers, it's also a lot of Spanish speakers. So yeah, NA way more aggressive, moves a lot more on the map, more flanking, more maneuvering. EU is just, put down your lawn chair and sit there, baby. That's what you do, pop a beer and just sit there. I'm curious about Slava's damage, alright, let's check it. I mean, it's Slava, but it's Vitar, Vitar doesn't play anything else. Um, so, like, if, if you don't get 100k as a Slava main, I think you've done something wrong. 
All right, we had to check Regolo discount as well. Where is Rugolo? Can I actually see what it costs? No, I, I can't see it, uh, Blitz, because I own the ship. But I guess we can kind of look here and see... Oh, it's okay, it's gold discount, it's not XP discounts. So like, what, 15-20% uh, discount or something like that? Maybe, uh, yeah, 15% discount, something like that, maybe. But NA much more DD. Oh yeah, true, true. Uh, that's another thing. Yeah, DD, DD galore on NA. So if you're a battleship player, you'll you'll have fun on NA, on EU because it's very much battleship meta uh, over here. Which you know, it's not a critique. It's just how it is. Um, 312k free XP. Okay, well there you go, Blitz. It's uh, 312. Thank you for that, bro. Oh, this shitty song. Get the fuck out of my face. Hey, what up, Benjamin? Welcome to the stream. We got Pony, we got Trigger. Wait, Trigger, that's 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 not your real name. I know who you are, Trigger. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, bro. Hope you're doing good, by the way. It's been a long time, man. 5DD games on an AR thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, it's the rare, rare thing I see 5DDs in, a, in an EU match. There's a higher likelihood I'll see four battleships, two cruisers, and, you know, a DD or a, ba or, or a CV or something. 5DDs and a CV, mine. And yeah, about saying that we have a lot more, uh, you know, sweats and people playing OP ships and CVs. The reason I say that is because I've only played on NA in off hours. So I could be completely wrong. And it could be the exact same experience on NA as I have on EU. Because remember, when I play on EU, I play in the evening, like now. Uh, but when I go on NA, it's like middle of the afternoon, people are still at work and stuff. So it, it, it probably is... You know, affecting my th look on it a little bit. So fun to play with him. Yeah, I love playing with Velocity, man, because San Martin is a good fucking ship. It's both support and it's aggressive. So when you're playing, especially in the EU meta with all the CVs, it's very nice to have somebody with AA. And it's a bonus that he knows how to play it, man. <laughs> it's a bonus he knows how to play it. Are you want to go for B? I'll I'll support you. I'll support you, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, velocity. Eat it up. Eat up the compliments, bro. Yeah, on NA you can get a crack and then 27k damage. <laughs> 27,000 damage in a crack. I got Hector from the Easter event. Is it good? I think so. Yes. It's very difficult to play though because you know it has a crawling smoke, and crawling smokes are just way more easy to handle with a DD. But it's it's can it can dish out a lot of damage, uh, Benjamin. Like actually a fuck ton of damage because you have a ton of torpedoes, and you have a ton of HE guns. AA kind of shit. Don't expect the AA to do anything. Um, but if you play it like a minnow, I think you'll be good if you know how to play minnow. If not, practice with it. It's a it's a good ship once you get it down. At least when I played it, I thought so. Yeah, okay. I think, yeah, Velocity, you have time to get out. I'll push, counter push this way. Uh, can we go for this Slava here? He was more competitive comp and stuff. In NA, we're, we killed it here. Yeah, yeah. if you look at the from the competitive side, it's it's a different ball game. Completely different ball game. But I mean, random battles, it's it's kind of the, it, it's the same beast, but just in a different, you know, costume. T DD Menace, Battleship CD Menace, it's whatever, man. We have some, oh, okay, 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 okay. I mean, that's what you get for being aggressive. You will get torpedoed. It's inevitable. Oh, was the Shima Torpedo Strike? Oh, or was it? Let's turn around. Oh. Yo. Somebody get that shimmer, please. Well, what are my DDs doing again? They're really not very... Uh, they really want to flank. I guess they got a Slava out there that they want to take out. Oh, I might have to go for that shimmer. 
I might have to... Oh, he's healing now. Great. And now he's... Yeah, he's gone. Okay. We're, we can't deal with the Shimmer, then. Looks like Velocity's being... <laughs> being chased by a DD. That's something great when you're playing Martin, San Martin, getting chased by destroyers. We're actually taking quite a beating from this Slava here. Um, I was really hoping we could take less damage from him since we're very tanky, but apparently not. Oh, fuck. Come on, let me let me get the hit. Let me get the hit. Oh, come on. Nice. Nice, Shimmer. Good job. I think I have to go behind the island here. I'm pretty sure he can still hit me. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yep, here we go. Okay, well, um, we're, we're kind of fucked, Velocity, because we have two DDs that are literally, you know, just waiting for the torpedoes to be ready, and I don't have HP to go into fight, so... I don't know how healthy you are. Let's, um... Hope that our DDs come in clutch. I mean, the Delny is actually pushing now, which is good. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you can fight or if you need to retreat, you know. Thumbs up if you can fight, thumbs down if you need to retreat. Because I can't see your HP right now. You're behind a rock, so... That's not what I want! I need a thumbs up or a thumbs down velocity! <laughs> okay, good, good, good. There it is. Appreciate it, bro. So, Palumbo is pushing. Yeah, you guys, you guys can take B. We are actually ahead, so as long as we don't die to that Columbo, we might actually have a chance here. Oh, he's going to hit the rock, isn't he? There's still a Shimakaze somewhere. Oh, please, please, torpedoes reach. You did your best, bro. You, you were crossfired by a Slava. I mean, the, the classic, it's a Slava main, you know. What, what can you expect back of the map? That type of player. Okay, hope, hope, oh, okay, the shimmer is over there. Um, which means that I think I might have time to finish off this Columbo. Oh, okay, uh, I guess we lagged there. I guess we lagged. Okay, well, I guess it's time for the Slava. I, okay, you know what, Delny, you redeemed yourself. Appreciate it. <clears throat> and the Shimakaze also came back, so. You know what? It was a happy ending, guys. Oh, there he is, the other Shimmer. Well, joke's on you, sir. I left. I have left the scene. Damn, I love Ohio, man. Ohio is such a good BB. It's it's really good at dealing with Slava, actually, because you were extremely tanky, and Slava is not extremely tanky. Let's see how much damage we take from the salvo. Wow, that was actually a good salvo. What the fuck, bro? Are you kidding? Well, I I mean, I think his reload is just as fast as mine. So in, in theory, I should win here. I have a feeling he... Yeah, what the hell, bro? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, thank God he didn't get it. Joke's on you. Call me. See you later, sucker. It's capitalism here, baby. GG, we'll play it, guys. Brown nosing? <laughs> does brown most nosing mean licking ass? <laughs> what does that mean? Brown nosing. San Martin was a hit for me. Even ever thought about doing a triple San Martin game? We invite Sek and have a field day. That's a good idea, actually. I have done it before, but, you know, you, me, and Sek Master? That would be fun. That would be quite fun. My lord, slap him downtown. <laughs> you did good, bro. Lasagna fan 01. I love that name, bro. Lasagna fan 01. <laughs> Lasagna fan. Oh my god. The, by the way, we have a spot open if anybody wants to join. Just let me know, guys. Currently grinding wins <clears throat> to get this legendary commander. Okay, what's the next one here? We gotta win five battles velocity. Do you think we can do that? 
you think we have a chance at doing that. You know what? Let's play double San Martin. If, if you want to join us, uh, Nautilus, you can. We can do the, the triple one if you want. Um... Bublin play Worcester. Brown nosing another another term for sucking. Oh yeah, so licking ass. Well, at least that's what we call it here. You know, when you're sucking up to somebody, you're licking their ass. I know it's not very pleasant, and um, that's not how you say it in English, but, but I just said it. So, uh, Bob, do you think there should be more ships from different countries? If so, which one? Um, both, both yes and no. So, like, obviously... A lot of the ships here were not built in real life. And these navies, I mean, if we talk about the French Navy, for example, if we're talking strictly World War II, the French Navy did not exist after World War II or when in 1945. There was not much left. So none of this makes sense. This thing doesn't make sense. Especially the Soviets don't make sense because, like, they don't even know how to operate a fucking aircraft carrier in real life. So how, tell me how they can have an aircraft carrier in this game. But if we don't look at it like that, I think more nations would be great. Um, obviously, like we have the the Swedish, a lot of Swedish ships. I think Sweden should get their own nation. We have a lot of Polish ships. I think Poland should get their own nation. But at the same time, it's like I, I understand why they bundle them up into groups. A nation I would like to see being independent, separate is Canada, because Canada actually participated in World War II quite a bit. They were part of escorts you know, across the Atlantic, and they suffered a lot of losses, just like, you know, the US, the British, and other, you know, resistance people from other countries did. <clears throat> and I don't, I don't feel like Canada has a good enough representation in this game. Like, if you look at the Haida, the Haida, I'm pretty sure, has a quite long history in real life, and it just gets shit on by the developers. So yeah, definitely Canada. I think Canada deserves a... deserves more, really. They deserve way more. I mean, the same with the Yukon, right? You, you, make make a cool Canadian destroyer tech line. I, I would love that, honestly. Australia? Yeah, true Australian ass. Um, <clears throat> but at the same time, I'm like, I'm, I'm surprised that they've added in Spanish ships. Um, like, not, not, this is just an example, you know. Sp Spanish ships make the least sense to me. The same with the Pan, Pan American ones, Pan Asian. So it's like, I think what Wargaming is doing is good. I think it's it's good that we get variety. And it, it also, you know, for example, when the Italian ships came out, I know a lot of my Italian friends from Blitz, they were fucking hyped. And and fair enough, I would be hyped if the Danish ship was added. <clears throat> Let's take my own example. So I'm Danish, right? And we have a long naval history. But in World War II, we were not <laughs> we were not very active. We, we bent over and just accepted that, you know, German invasion. We're not very proud of that. But, if they were to add a Danish ship from this era, I would be like, hmm, Wargaming, like, what? We, we didn't even have a navy, it was taken over by Germany. So, if, if they add stuff that just doesn't make sense, it kind of pisses me off. That's especially why I'm pissed off at the Soviet aircraft carrier. Because they cannot, they cannot feel an aircraft carrier. They are so bad, the Russians, at doing aircraft carrier stuff. And that's not anything to do with politics, that's just a fact. The thing fucking burns more than a wood stove, man. Admiral Kuznetsov, it burns more than a wood stove, I tell you. So from, 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 that, from that perspective, it does make zero sense that they have a CV in this game. And it's actually a good CV, too. But yeah, if you had that mindset with everything, it wouldn't be, there wouldn't be any ships in the game. It would just be, you know, US, Japanese, Germany. What do you guys think? What nation would you want to be introduced to Blitz? Oh, we got a Bendizi here? Oh, hello. Let him cook. Let him cook. I know that there is a Nicholas NPS right there around the corner. I'm not, and I'm not going to show anything to Nicholas. Nicholas can cook behind the rock if he wants. We both just... Yeah, we both use radar. <laughs> this guy is not going to run away. <laughs> Double radar, baby. Wait, are you running away? Wow, bot San Martin just running away. I thought I could use my combat instructions on him. 
All right, I'll invite you again to all this after this. Colbert existed? Yes, but I'm, I, I don't know if you heard my sentence read. I said World War II. Colbert is the Cold War ship that was made after World War II. So, yeah. Yes, Colbert did exist, but Colbert was is not World War II ship. And this game is based on World War One and World War II and some Cold War ships. So, from that logic, the, the French Navy should not have been in this game at all. I mean, yeah. Okay, Montana. Let's get it. I mean, if, is Nicholas still here? I think he might be. Oh yeah, he's right there. Hello, Nicholas. Hello, my friend. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt big time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you better run. You don't want to open up versus this this thing, man. Especially if you're in a DD at, at medium to long range. You don't want to do this. Alright, let's get the damage on the Montana here. Alright, we know where he is. He's in front of us, so the torpedoes won't hit us. Alright, that's good. Just like I said, they're in front of us. We're good. Black Torp, let's go. Alright, we're gonna stay here, chill a little bit. I think San Martin just might die to that flood, but I he could survive on like a single tick. If I know my luck correctly, he's definitely gonna survive on a single tick. Oh my god, he's not oh now he's sailing the other way, so I actually can't hit him. Yeah, look! Oh what? I take it back! Wargaming is out to make me look stupid, that's for sure. The, the flood was gone, but it's still ticked. I don't know what's going on, but I'll take it. Thank you, game. Oh, man. This thing is just such a joy to play. Such a joy to play, man. Woo. Yoink. We can aim a little bit better than this. Oh, man. Oh, wait! He's shot torpedoes! But wait! There's more! Yep. <laughs> you will never get this, Nicholas. You will never get this. <laughs> nice try, though. It was close. That was close. Alright, it's just him, boys. It's just him. Let's get him. Danish, what? We conquered our island. Three <laughs> <laughs> our, your, our island? What the hell, bro? <laughs> what the hell, bro? <laughs> good joke, though. It's good. It's good. We need co covenant ships? Covenant? What's the covenant? I like just to see more real ships. Yeah, I agree. I think sister ships. Something, something, uh, one of the seats, yes, I can't remember who it was, uh, requested that instead of black ships, why don't you make sister ships? You know, people will much rather buy something that actually existed than something that just has a black slap, you know, la label on it. It's it's not very. It it doesn't make sense for the. Uh, what what's it called for like as a strategy? You know, these are people that care about naval history. They care about ships. So, yeah. Yes, I am, Rid. I am. Uh, let's see. Personally, Bob, after playing Tier Six, my sword, the Indian crews, I think wargaming should build more on Indian ships. That actually, that, that that could be done also because the Indian Navy is actually quite big, and um, you know, they. I'm pretty sure that the Indian Navy has bought a lot of ships from the Soviets, so that would also be easy for wargaming. They could just copy paste a lot of Soviet ships and call it an Indian ship. Um, yeah, but the Indian Navy is pretty huge, actually, so... Oh, guys, look, this is funny. This is actually quite, quite, kind of funny. So, this guy, Giorgio Julieni, very toxic guy, very toxic guy. He loves playing Smolensk. Actually, that's all he plays. Wanna, wanna see, you want to see? <laughs> that's all my guy plays. <laughs> I'm not joking. 
And he is apparently also toxic. See, that doesn't work, bro. New players, stop to play tier 10, please. If you stop playing Smolensk. So boring. Let's see what he says to that. Keep playing tier 10 noobs. I need easy kills. That's how. Hell yeah, Root. Hell yeah, Root. <laughs> oh, man. The USS Gat. So funny that there's a ship called that. Did Valk reply? No, he did not reply. He did not reply. Um, I would show you, but I don't want. There's something I can't show. <laughs> Lol, I'd say another ship's. Oh, let's. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> oh, how why can't I do that? It's a bob. It's all it's all good, my man. <laughs> how can you say how can you say you don't play out you, you play other ships when bro literally has wait, that's not my account. Six thousand battles in Smolensk. I mean at that point just say yeah bro, I'm a Smolensk main and I'm fucking good at it. I'll be like, you know what, that's cool bro. You keep doing you. But instead he has to <laughs> deny it, which makes it so funny. Okay, well, uh, Nautilus, I don't see you, so I'll wait. Need to go, Bob. Time for bed. Thank you so much for the game's velocity. Indian tech line possibly thoughts, Bob. Uh, I actually I just, just talked about it, bro. But I, I think, yes, possible. It would also be easy for wargaming, because uh, the Indians bought a lot of ships from the Soviets. Um, so it would be easy for them to copy-paste, you know, Soviet ships into the game. But it would probably have to be a cruiser line, right? Dude done about as many battles as Smolensk as I have in total. Right? And the, and the funny thing is, if he just said, yes, I'm a Smolensk main and I love playing it, I I would have stopped right there and been like, you know what? That's cool, bro. <laughs> the funny thing is, Smolensk mains, they always get so defensive. 28% of all games in Smolensk, not bad. This is funny, man. It's fucking hilarious. Through chats, put 6k games in Hydra. No, forget about it, bro. Forget about it, man. Mm, what should we play? Let's go for a Sao game. I, this could be, you know, this could be the, the end of my sanity because if we get a CV game, I'm gonna I'm gonna mold, but let's hope we don't. Let's see. Oh, what up, Mikay? Welcome to the stream, man. I think India India will probably be added at some point, honestly, because it's it's one of the few, you know, that would make sense from a historical perspective. You know, India and uh, actually Argentina, but I guess they're already in the game. But the General Bel Belgrano from the Falklands War is a Des Moines class cruiser. So, you know, give that uh, to Argentina. Brazil also has a Navy, huge Navy, but it's more of a like a... a, a you know, brown water navy, not a blue water navy. Blue water navy is what these ships are, you know, open ocean. Brown water navy is river, uh, patrol, inland patrol. But then they can add a patrol boat, you know, add something, a new, completely new class of ships, the patrol boat, which also existed in World War II. And then you can add a fuck ton of navies. There's so many ships or na nations you could add. I know another guy, just Dalian Roma Smolensk Jinan. I mean, at least Jinan is kind of takes a little bit of skill to use that. Not even better and enough for me to leave my old fleet. Yeah, I mean, there. Okay, so Pony, I'm glad you have Marionette in your name because I always try and kind of forget who you actually are. But are you Marionette from uh, Old Seeds, or was it another fleet? You know, are you the the original Marionette? You know, played with Exorcist, played with the guys from Seeds. Because you were, you were, where, where were you before? Was it sales? Or, or is that the other marionette? Because there's two marionettes, and I don't know which one's which. The reason I called one of them OG is because the marionette played when I started playing, and that's that's the only reason, I think. A patrol tugboat? <laughs> yeah, right? I would love to have the patrol tugboat, because I've seen it in real life. I was I was on duty when it happened, and then I see Panzerknacker posting a fucking photo of a Danish tugboat with a 75mm cannon on. I'm like, bro, I, that's outside my window. Who took that picture? 
And I'm looking at my crew like, who took this picture, bro? Who sent that to Panzer Knacker? Weird. It's, oh, sour. Right, sour. That's the one. So you are a sour marionette. Okay. Why did you leave, sour, if, if I may ask? I mean, you don't have to answer. Just wondering. Because, I mean, sour was the fleet for at least a half a year or something. Like, you guys were grinding trophies like nobody else. I remember when I had, when I played with you guys, it was almost stressful because, you know, if you wanted to play something that wasn't meta, you just got fucking roasted. Like, whoa, why are you playing Marseille, dude? Because uh, I want to. It's not good. It's bad, bad meta. Ugh. Sorry, there was one guy. One guy. Uh, I just remembered being like, whoa, bro. I guess I won't be playing with you guys. Oh, wow. That was a great salvo. That was a great salvo. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> my boy Minnow, you are in trouble. All the count was Turbo Pony. Ah, oh, I think I know. I think I know now. Turbo Pony. Nice <laughs> slime impression. <laughs> what do you mean? That was not a slime impression. Hell no, bro. <laughs> Oh man, you guys are too mean. You guys are memeing on Sly. Sly is the godfather of this this fucking this community, man. Sly, Sly is like the 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 CC. I mean, yes, I I know Terry's bigger, but in my opinion, Sly is the 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 all father of this game. Fight me, fight me over it. I'll fight fight people over that argument, man. Sly is the man. And then we got Pig Bay, he's like he's like the uncle. Then we got um I mean this has nothing to do with age. Then we got Terry, he's granddad. Not not the granddad, but he's just like he's he's pa, you know, he's the he's the old man, he's the old guard. Back in the good old days. Back when I started YouTube, there was nobody else. It was just me. Just me, baby. And then there's me, I'm the annoying little brother. That's I'll I'll give myself that title. The annoying little brother who's screaming a lot and watches too many videos on the internet oh wait is he is he not gonna die no okay he's not gonna die so battleships somebody with a oh no wonder somebody from the danish fleet is afk bro you guys just you keep you keep disappointing me man dnf come on guys the danish naval force please don't disgrace my navy bro i actually i actually work in that thing Please don't take the name if you're not gonna, you know, bring it glory. Saddens me, man. Danish naval force or fleet. That's and you don't know, man. Somebody who works in the Danish navy that makes me very, very sad. Oh my, oh See you later. Oh, well, that is mega unfortunate. I thought we were gonna get that kill. Oh my god, the fire chance, baby, is really working out today. Oh boy, okay. Gotta clear out. Uh. Don't die, Venezia, don't die, don't push out, Venezia, what are you doing? Give me that flood, come on. Ah. We're getting good damage here, but uh, I think this is an issue, guys. I think we have a big issue here that our team is unaware of what a capture circle is. So, <laughs> literally, it's just me and this DD doing all the work. Oh, man. Thank you for trying, though. Thank you for trying, Mr. Destroyer. I, res I, I respect it. And Venezia also gave it a shot. You know, we, we got to give credit where credit's due. Okay, I mean, he hit, he hit that shimmer. He hit him. Okay, we're gonna have to readjust our aim. Uh, we dodged that, that's cool. Okay, let's get back in there. Whoa, something happened! Yo, John Hannigan <laughs> gifted a membership and the big- Oh, fuck, sorry. I have a GK problem. I, did, I didn't realize he was right there. Uh, uh, welcome to Bucknutty! 
We're about to, we're about to go, Buck Nutty. Wait, he just fired? Bro, what are you, what are you cooking? What are you cooking, my guy? Okay. I mean, probably won't survive or win this game, I mean, but maybe we can get lucky and get some high damage here. I mean, it's a full half hit. The game ended. The game ended before my torpedoes hit. That is actually, wow. That's worse than losing, man. <laughs> oh, man. Thank, <laughs> thank you, John Hannigan. That, that, we, you just saved a very sad situation. Thank you so much, bro. And welcome the big hunter to Team Buck Nutty, bro. Oh, man. That's his niche, no doubt, and he's good at it. Who? Terry? Uh, what's his niche? Terry's for beginners. We need a CC for advanced tactics. Yeah, I thought that was going to be B, but I have to admit, I... Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not what I play Blitz for anymore. It's not advanced tactics, but you're right. And that's probably something Red or Matt could do. I mean, have you changed name, Nautilus? Well, are we not friends for some reason? Pretty sure we're friends, Nautilus. I mean, I haven't removed you... Do you see me on your friends list, Nautilus? I guess I'll have to manually search then. Death from above is also very good. Yeah, if you like CVs. I mean, he's the, he's the CV guy. Uh, let's do name, 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 name. There it is. So we got to find N. Oh, wait. I'll, I'll send you a friend request. For some reason, we're not friends anymore. We have all the time in the world. Alright, fair enough, bro. I swear there are more noobs in tier 10 than any other tier. Yeah, right? It, it makes no sense why why there's so many noobs at high tier. I really don't get it. And Ender Monkey's addition to the chat. Alright, I'll do that. Uh, Ender Monkey, Ender Monkey, where did you s send a message? General Belgrano was a Brooklyn class. Oh, really? Give me a second. It's not that I don't believe you. It's just I looked at... Oh, f fuck's sake, Spotify. I misclicked, and now it wants to update. Oh, yes. Do you, you want to you annul it? Yes. Thank you. All right, General Belgrano. Let me see. The only... The reason I thought it was a Des Moines class is because of the bridge... But yeah, that looks a lot more... No, what? No. Are you sure? USS Phoenix. Oh, you're right. Brooklyn class cruiser. Why does that... Why can't I not see that's a Brooklyn? I don't know. I, I thought it was a Des Moines based on the bridge. But it still doesn't change the fact that they could do more, you know, ships like that. As a member of the Indian community, I can advocate for all of us. I can confirm that they will be really happy with the Indian tech line. I mean, there's also a lot of people in India, so Wargaming would do good by winning the easy Indian points over there, you know? How many is it? Like 1.8? 1 1, no, 1.4 or something? Billion? That is crazy, man. Yeah, Wargaming, that, that's an untapped market right there, Wargaming. You, you gotta go do it now. Do you see me in your friends list? Uh, I forgot what your name was, bro. I haven't played Petro yet. Uh, I, there was also an Austin request. I have to do that that one first. Petro. No, no, this is going to get me copyright struck. You stop right there, criminal scum. Thank you. 1.4. Yeah, it's insane. Something like that. 1.4, 1.5. What was that one British? Uh, HMS Coventry? Or, yeah, I think... It could have been HMS Coventry or something like that. It's a case study for, you know, naval warfare nowadays to, to study the Falklands War because it's the one of the final or last, you know, naval engagements there were. I guess, I guess now that the Ukrainian war is ro rolling, that's that's the new thing you look at. But yeah, it's... Uh... Oh, St. Vincent, I got it, bro. I got it. 1.8. Whoa, bro. That's crazy. Don't take it over, over the world, guys. You know... If you take over the world, just remember that Bob is, is not a threat. 
I'm just joking. Yodo? Sure, bro. I actually had Indian food yesterday. Yeah, I know I'm, ba I'm, I know I'm a basic bitch. I, I, had, I had, what was it? Butter chicken or something? Yeah, I think it was. But damn, bro. I like me a good dal. Dal is like, if you're, you know, a poor student, dal is the most OP food in the world. Because it fills you up, it's not unhealthy, and it tastes good. I get annoyed with 300 people in the store. Like, how, how are there 300 people in the store, arsonist? You would love Danish supermarkets, bro. There's like 5 people in total. In, in busy times, it's a little bit worse, of course. But 300? That's crazy. 300 people, man. I mean, you could have been exaggerating, I know. But I agree with you, arsonist. I'm a, I'm a total hermit. I... I I would much rather not interact with people than just than just be alone, but you know, sometimes you have to interact. I guess that's also some kind of, you know, sensory thing, like I don't know. I, I hate I hate group big groups of people and, and loud no vo noises. Loud noises are not fun. Yeah, I mean, I'm literally just waiting for you to get out of your smoke so I can Oh my, what is that? Oh, it's a GKFDG, the type of thing. Okay. Spi yeah, spicy lentils. <laughs> this is pretty much what it is. It can't be 1.8. They just passed China's population a few months ago. Oh, no, no. It was uh, revealed that China has been meddling or, you know, been tampering with their population numbers. It was, they actually came out that it's something more like 1.2 million in China. A billion, I mean. Oh, that's that's a very big distinction between a million and a billion, you know. All right, this guy is probably dead. I think he forgot all about the Austin that he was shooting at before, and now he's just sailing straight Linus. And we're just gonna slowly but surely creep up on the guy. Hello. That's kind of funny, bro. That's kind of funny, dude. You were shooting at me just a minute ago, and then it's like I don't even exist. Yeah, you, you're not going to make that mistake again. <laughs> I got I got to LD and get European soup. This is... Okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Why is LD a thing in the US? You know, Guys, you know what, what happened to LD in, in Europe, or at least in, in Scandinavia? LD was so fucking bad with fda approvals and shit you know our fda they had so many rotten things and animals and they they only had one person at work at one time they got completely ousted from scandinavia and then i look two years later it's the biggest thing in us it's the new trader joe aldi like can somebody tell me what the aldi experience is like in the us because over here it was you know the worst of the worst supermarket experience you would have you know old products and that's, that might just be a Scandinavian Aldi thing. It could be very different other countries. But when I heard that the US had an Aldi, I was like, bro, what? <laughs> bro, what? How did they survive? How did they die here, but they survive in the States? That makes no sense. Sam's Club was never supposed to be for personal consumptions, but Americans got fat. Is Sam's Club like a, you know, where you buy in bulk, you know, if you have a restaurant or something? We, I think we have something similar here. All right, Baba Yaga. I mean, he just fired the Vermont. That's huge. I, I, he doesn't even know I'm here, this guy. That's kind of hilarious, man. Oh, he knows now. He knows. Okay. Okay, Vermont's aware. <laughs> Oh, okay, Vermont's aware. That's not him, though. That's That was definitely the FDG. And why is my team not... Like, actually, why do I always get these types of... What's going on, dude? Guys, come on. It's not that hard. Just fucking cap. I I, I'm drawing them all the way now. You, you have a ample opportunity to... Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. They have ample opportunity. Like... What? Full HP. Oh, they had a DD behind them. That kind of kind of explains it a little bit. 
Oh man. Oh wait. Oh, we hit, we got torpedoes off. Right. Okay. Well, we're not gonna win the game, obviously. Um. <laughs> fuck. This is like <laughs> prime prime tier ten experience, man. Just uh, let's see. Play the Vermont, please. I don't have Vermont, but I'll put it on the um, the NA list, my friend. I could, I could play a Vermont game, you know? It's a long time since I played that. Excuse me. Random burp I couldn't hold in. Uh, Aldi is not a place for me, but some people love it. I love Aldi. Be Sometimes the produce is a bit dated, but otherwise it's solid and you can't beat the prices. I'm not a brand whore, so... Yeah, same here, dude. But the thing is, with Aldi here is... it. You would literally literally get mold on your stuff. It was so bad. But I'm glad that, you know, they've made a revival. They've, they've come back. That's actually quite nice. Because I think a lot of people enjoyed it uh, over here. A lot of people liked Aldi, which, fair enough. We have uh, something called Lidl or Lidl now, which is, like, Aldi's biggest competitor in Europe, I'm pretty sure. Do we have any other countries, European countries, that have Aldi still? Hey, what up, awesome ales? Welcome to the stream, man. The meat is questionable at best. Wait, did I kill you? Who were, who were you? Anagnos. Who were who you in that game? Maybe I can check your uh, the name, see if your name pops up. Are you Antares? Oh, wait, no, that was the other. The other game's still going. Ah. Aldi is growing faster than the US because of inflation. Ah, that's why. The UK has Aldi. Okay, so the, the, I see why they did it now. Oh, you're Nassos. Oh, okay, bro. Wait, what were you playing? Yeah, that was in the other game, so it's not done yet, is it? Yeah, you were the FTG or GK. Bro, I don't know what the fuck happened that game, but what, what was my team doing? Four people chasing a DD. Like, can I have a break, please? I mean, my play wasn't the smartest either. I'll, 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 I'll give you that, but... I mean, at least I got two kills. Okay, well, let's go for Petro. I, I might be able to carry a little bit better in this one. I don't buy meat from Aldi. I don't like the prices, so I don't know about, about it otherwise. I go to Mexican meat market for the fresh and low. Yeah, dude, I wish I wish we had more, like, markets and stuff in Denmark. We don't really have that. I hate when I super flank and take all the attention from my team. Is, yeah, that is, oh, that is a great feeling. And it, it's happened two times in a row now where my team has not been close to the, you know, area where stuff happens so let's hope that this team maybe they can do that but fear not in 23 minutes i'll be moving over to a server where I'd, at least i know like five to six people in the game will have a brain which is kind of nice believe me there are worse supermarkets than aldi you know what i think you're right about that and you know what romaine hello and kisses to you too my friend everybody gets a kiss that was super gay but i don't give a shit so gay oh my god bob just did the gay thing we got aldi and lidl after banking crisis in ireland now they're everywhere see that makes a lot of sense they they went to the markets they weren't before and you know that actually um that makes sense for some people eat mubarak like eat as in ramadan or i don't i don't know what mubarak means i know what eat is I mean, I've never, I've never been part of a Ramadan, but the Eid sounds nice, man. I would like to sit there and eat good food and shit. It's, it sounds really fucking great, man. It's like Christmas dinner every day, but you just have to wait the whole day for it, and you can't take, you know, any nutrients or water. You're just, you're just a zombie for the most of the day, man. Oh boy, oh boy, we're we're, we're leaving. Oh, that's okay. Good. They didn't hit us. Huge. I guess we're just going to be farming the, the black battleships. What's this? What is this? What are you doing? Alright, let's get back in there. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, if you can't beat them, join them. So I guess I am going to follow Sammy and Batman here. I, okay, I know Batman's not an idiot, so... You know what, that kind of makes me happy. Oh wait, is that the wrong Batman? There's a two There's two Batman. There, I know one Batman. He's typically uh, doing pretty good, but I don't know. I can't remember if this is the other Batman. 
Oh man, do you guys also have multiple Batman on NA? It's quite confusing. You no, know, do I have the, the experienced Batman or do I have the new Batman? The the guy who misses his grappling hooks and stuff. Okay, Sammy is going in. And it, I think it actually might work. I mean, that Seattle is not having a good day at least. We'll help him. Help him get back to port. Alright, Batman! Oh, Batman. No, Sammy. Sammy, you can't pull off and just go into the... No, Sammy, why? Sammy, my guy. You had so much to live for, but you just decided to... Yeah. Wait. Those torpedoes look actually kind of nice. Let's, let's just make sure that if he takes one torpedo, it kills him. Oh, come on. Give Sammy the kill. Give Sammy those torpedoes. He won't get the kill, but you know what? Let's help Sammy. Let's get revenge for Sammy. Yes, team. Get the revenge, people. Is Phoenix here with us? Does he know what I'm calling for? I hope he does. We're gonna keep going, lads. We are gonna keep going. Good. Good. Oh, well, um... <laughs> I'm not even... I'm not even mad. That's kind of funny, man. That's what you get. Just stop playing CV if you want to maneuver so bad. Like, if you want to push up, just don't play CV. It's very simple. That's what you get, Mr. Audacious Player, when you when you play like a dum-dum. <laughs> like, why, why is he pushing up right now? There's still three battleships left. Oh, man, that's good comedy right there. That is funny. I think we can pretty much ignore the Holland and Österjutland. They have to get a really good Torp Strike to actually take us out. Yeah. There you go. Nullified the Torpedoes. We're gonna stay bow in because, uh, well, there's, I don't know if that was Holland or Österjutland Torpedoes. Yeah, I, I'm glad we, we paid Petro, man. Petro always saves the day, guys. Boom. Beautiful. Let's go for his friend here, if we can. Okay, you guys want to tussle? Let's do it. I'll save my salvo for the other the other guy. Yeah, yeah, do your thing. Oh, okay, well. Front turrets aren't really following. But, luckily we have 360. Bye-bye. Wait, the island. Oh, you lucky fucker, man. Okay, well, he's dead now. We're giving them free damage. I'm not damage controlling. Free damage for these guys. You know, give them what they can here in the end. He's gonna launch Torps very soon. Or maybe not. God, man, this game doesn't like me. Bro, <laughs> come on. I could have gotten two kills there. <laughs> oh. The festival. Oh, there we go. The festival. Uh, yes, it's actually great. And, and it is the day. And deed is the day after Ram Ramadan with no fasting. So do you guys do you eat more <laughs> after the Ramadan is over? I can, I would imagine, but like your stomach must be you know shrunk, so you can't take in as much food, right? Because you're you're ba basically starving yourself, and you know if when you starve, you your your body you know adapts to that. So you probably have to watch out. You don't eat too much. I admire that they don't eat all day during Ramadan. I'm pretty sure that most hardcore of them, they don't drink water either. Like, so no chewing gum, no nicotine, no water, no nothing. At least from what I heard. Yeah, I... I'm not a religious man, so... You know, it probably it wouldn't make sense for me, but... Yeah, I, I must say, I respect the Muslims for going through that. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, can we can we blind fire this guy? Oh, no, we can't, but we can have fun with him. Maybe we can get 
100k. Oh, that's a joke, bro. Good, good joke. Good joke, Wargaming. <laughs> Funny meme. Can you play Duncan and tell tips on how to play it? Um, I don't have Duncan, but I have St. Vincent, and it's the same playstyle through and through. There's no difference. He has a good British accent. Who? No, normal life comes back after a year in Ramadan. Okay. Okay. How many thousands of people do you think are called captain? Some people, man. There's a lot of captains in this game. There we got Captain Nico. Who else do we have? We have somebody. St. Vincent it is, if, if you're okay with that, but I think, I mean, I, I, I will actually be able to play Duncan, my man. So, because I'm going over to the uh, NA account, so you know what, we'll put Duncan here. Okay, we're gonna do a last game on... Wait, it says St. Vincent. You know what, we'll do both, bro, because somebody requested St. Vincent. So, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll get St. Vincent here. Wait, did I speak British? What? When did I speak British? Like, when, mate? Oh, the fuck, I didn't fucking speak British. You want to go down to the pub and have a fucking scruffle, yeah? No, I'm not British. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I do accents, man. It's not It's not on purpose. It's actually completely in involuntary. Like, it's just something I do. Duncan is likely the easiest and most enjoyable tier 9 I ever played. Same. And that's why I'm saying, like, you pretty much just don't even need to think to play it. Black Colombo? Sure, bro. Like I said, don't have it, so it's a it's an NA type deal. Well, no, it's just gonna be Kolumu. That's fine. You played the Lion, Isuma, and the Duncan. Which one did you enjoy the most out of those three? <laughs> just like because of the accent. <laughs> We're just a bunch of old guys who play this game to make others smile. Yeah, actually true. Actually, very true. Like I said, I started out making videos because I thought I was going to be like, Oh, I'm the, I'm the super unicorn giga chat. I know all about this game. And I quickly realized that you will go insane if you take this game more serious than you take your life serious. So, yeah, we're just dudes trying to have fun in this weird-ass game, man. <laughs> the accent is spot on, bruv. <laughs> Care for a cup of tea? Uh, no, uh, uh, do, do you have some crumpets, mate? It's like an old... Help me! I have fallen and I can't get up. I can't do it now. I actually can't do it now. It's it's not it's not on. It's bad one. All that talk about grocery stores as I'm in my barn filling my freezer with stuff I raised. You know what? That's the ultimate giga chat right there. You know what? Self sufficiency. That's fucking cool, man. Oh, we need. Yeah, true. We need to test that. You're right, Arsis. We never tasted it. tested it. Let's do that first off with the Jaeger. You're right. Sounds more Scottish, not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, if anybody here, you know, you guys from England, Scotland, Great Britain, you guys could probably hear how off it is. <laughs> Old me too, 40 year old. I play for pleasure, only a game. Yeah, I, I, I learned through trial and error that I shouldn't take this game serious. Some people can. Me personally, I get too involved, so it's better that I just don't care about it. At least I try. I mean, obviously, I'm not perfect. I do care about this game, but... Yeah, the less you give a fuck, the more fun you'll have. Just play like the, the noobs, pretty much. Alright, guys, what do you aim with Louisiana? Is it just the, uh, the tumor there? You know, the, ba the, big, the big growing tumor on his head? Alright, Philip, let's see what you, how, you, how much damage can... Are you fucking serious, Wargaming? Nah, man, that that's that that's not cool. War gaming, that was spot on his deck, and it landed right in front of him. That's that's a, that must have been a dispersion bug. Could not have been. True, it doesn't have to be London action. You're right. Yeah, you, you know you know what? You're good, bro. Have fun. I I will stop shooting at you. You you got some kind of like curse on you that you just don't get hit, and you what the fuck, bro? How come he? Fuck this guy, man. Oh, we missed again. We actually missed again. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed by my skills. But what's going on with this Louisiana? Yeah, it, it, it might be mine, but if I can't hit him, then... 
It's very hard, and I, I don't I don't know if that was skill issue or what the fuck just happened, but I feel like my my shells should have hit more than they did. Fuck you, game! What is that? It should be dead, bro! Two set <laughs> What? Bro, what? That's insane! How do you survive so much bullshit? Go, what? Oh my god. Bro, what? Thank you. No, I lost a lot of HP just to kill that guy, but you know what? I, I, was, I was about to explode. Okay, let's try Louisiana now. We're, we're dead anyways, so it's fine. How do we aim at this guy? Like, look, I'm aiming straight at his, you know, thing right there. How do we hit? Yeah, there must have been a dispersion bug or something in, along those lines. Fine. Don't do what I just did, Adarsh. Um, I got a little bit carried away because nothing that I wanted happened. It was good when you send her down. <laughs> Don't ripple fire. Well, I mean, with the with the multi, I was thinking one shell was going to do it. So much for the easiest line. You're right, bro. That right there, that is just because I, I could not accept the fact that we got dispersion bug. Then we get a non-pen on a CV. And, um, yeah, I, I was I was totally shit there. Aim even higher with the, with the Louisiana. So you got to aim straight for the top. See, I, I don't see them enough to actually know how... How you should shoot at them. Shot cowboy. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm a good shot, guys. What can I say? You saw you saw I killed the CV, right? Don't worry that I died. It doesn't matter. It's besides the point, guys. <laughs> Where to aim? Uh, okay, Adarsh. So, one thing I'll tell you. I'm not a battleship player. I cannot give you the best tips here. We have a lot of battleship players in the chat. But I myself don't even know half the time. Because... I feel like there's not really a like when I when you shoot the 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 belt, sometimes you get no damage. Then you shoot the belt at close range, still no damage. I mean, it. I don't think there's really anything to say where you need to aim. I tend to go for the plunging fire because I feel like you know the deck is least armored, and that's the easiest way to hit a citadel. Yeah, aim for the deck, not the belt. But with Louisiana, I guess you just have to hit the top. Um, I thought for sh for sure that this part right here, I mean, just speaking strictly, you know, ships in, in real life, this right here, if I hit here, this ship is going to blow up completely. I mean, this is right down here is the ammunition storage down here. And if I hit something here, let's say we get a fuel, we hit the fuel tank of some plane or some shit. It's going to explode and create a completely massive explosion that's going to go down into the ship like this and up. So that's why I thought if you hit here, it was going to be a guaranteed citadel. But apparently you have to hit up here. They really should make uh, armor models or at least show where the citadel is. I know it doesn't really matter in Blitz, but for something like, like the Louisiana, it would be kind of nice to know if, if this is where you need to hit. And this is just kind of obsolete. We'll try again, Adarsh. I'll try the Duncan when we get to NA. Uh, or we, we are here now. More like a hitbox issue? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> see, that's something you can't do anything about, you know. Hitboxes. This game has a lot of issues with hitboxes. Okay, uh, so we we played the Yoda with the St. Vincent. I, I must say I have to try that again. Um, this time I won't get frustrated because we don't kill the fucking Louisiana. It makes Citadels easier. Yeah, I've tried that quite a bit the last few streams. I, I don't I don't think that's true at all. Um, I think it improves improves your dispersion in some some regards, but I don't think it increases your Citadel chance. I mean, I'll have to see that before I believe it for sure. There's definitely an improvement to dispersion, definitely. Um, but no, not Citadel chains. But I mean, better accuracy, easier Citadels. <clears throat> Bro, people, we are not in turn. Stop turning off all the way. I mean, the only times I do it if it is, is if it's a perfectly broadside ship or I'm close range. All right, Arsonist, they, there you go. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, let me get the, the Jaeger here. So, guys, we're going to be testing some... How, how, much, how much punishment can the Jaeger take? 
Oh my god, the training room is so slow. Give me a sec, Arsonist. I need to get this ready. It's just the lag with the training room is unbearable, man. Yeah, how much punishment can Jaeger actually take? I don't I don't have a commander on this. Uh, I think we removed it, but it's fine. Oh wait, change the map, change the map, Arsonist, to Frozen Shelter. Or something that's just close, you know, a tiny map. Now you should put more shells in the deck, auto aim. Yeah, right. That's that's the reason I turn it off, is because I wanna hit the deck, not the build. Invite Alduin, Louisiana, Repub. Oh, okay, for I'll, I'll invite you after this, bro. Oh, we're still the wrong map. There we go. Well, what's that tiny map called where it's frozen? Sorry, sorry, Arson, it's not your fault. Like, the, the small, small, small map. That's also frozen. It, d it just has to be a tiny map. Is the Jaeger torpedo boat? Oh, yes, it's a torpedo boat, and it only has 17,000 HP. So it's we're seeing if it's actually able to be one shot. Arena, whatever it's called. Uh, I'm gonna message him. I don't know if change to arena mate. Let's see. So we were still on Black Swan, really? <laughs> hey, bro, what emulator do you use to play? It's called Blue Stacks, and uh, you can find it on the internet. Download it for free. You do need quite a beefy computer to play with blue stacks without trouble. But um it's it's definitely changed the way I look at mobile games. Like I all, all mobile games I play on this now. Except, you know, the ones I can't. War Thunder Mobile is not able to be played on an emulator. Jesus Christ. Slow on your end? Yeah, I think it's the delay, mate. Alright, well um I'll line up. And, um, you know, I'll sh present myself a beautiful broadside, and then we'll, uh, you'll, you'll just take the shot whenever you feel like it. Okay. Well, I'm right here, Arsonist. Don't wait. Dude, I'm just gonna slow down here. Alright, guys, 17,110 HP versus a Venezia. I am full stop. Let's see what happens. Okay, how many shells did you hit there? You just, yeah, just kill me, it's fine. Okay, so actually Venezia can't one-shot you, but it, I guess it makes sense. 15 guns, maximum of 990 damage, I think. So yeah, you won't actually be able to one-shot even this thing. Which I find kind of unfair, actually. Like, Venezia should at least be able to one-shot this thing. So, okay. It, you can survive a Venezia salvo, that's kind of good to know. Do you have Colombo? 12k. How many how many shells did you hit, bro, in the first salvo? Was it all shells? One salvo. I'm playing Cleveland. One. Yeah, dude. PC is fucking ruthless. Actually, guys, I've, I've been considering playing PC and uploading content on it. For the, because, like, I'm probably not going to play Legends, to be fair. Um, if I am going to play Legends, I would much rather play Blitz. Oh, sorry, not the PC. You know. You hit 9. Okay. Well, I think... If you hit all 15, you might be able to. You want to get get real close? Okay, Arsene, this, this time get as close as you can. As close. And see if you can hit all shells. I'll invite you, bro, when uh, when I need a Louisiana and a Republic. Or just a Louisiana, really. I don't, why, why, I don't know why I need Republic. Republic's easy to Citadel. Not hard to Citadel. You can Citadel that with a Worcester. Please do WoW's PC videos? I mean, if... It's something that I've been thinking about. Because if, if Legends is going to take over Blitz, then, like, what's my next thing? Not that I want to... I don't want to leave Blitz, but it's it seems like, you know, Netties and Wargaming don't really care about Blitz. So, you know, it's it's something I've thought about. And I do, I do play WoW's PC sometimes, but it's definitely... Would, it would have to be a learning curve. But I thought it could be kind of fun, you know, to showcase a blitz player's uh, experience in in pc and just see me get absolutely obliterated okay arsonist i'll get real close to you you just stop right there and uh, hang out like w one kilometer one kilometer max so you can also you know hit your shells okay so i will stop here 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Let's see if Venezia can actually one-shot. Come on. Please. I beg. Venezia, you got this. Come on, Arsonist. Slap me. Slap me real good. Give me the sap slap from downtown. What? What? What happened there? You did half my HP last time you almost killed me. Did, did you get a ghost salvo or something? It could have been a ghost, ghost salvo, man. I did less. Was that all full pens? No, I know, Tropo. It's, it's to get all shell hits. That's what I want. It's because he didn't hit, hit all shells before. The dispersion kind of messed it up. So this is just to get all shell on target. Alright, give it a shot. You only you only did like what 10k to me? <laughs> Should I? <laughs> nah. Okay, you know if you don't kill me here, okay, okay, you killed me here. <laughs> well, that's kind of depressing, actually. I'm I'm sad to see that Venezia doesn't do more damage. Lag? Maybe. Skill issue. <laughs> no. No. It's not skill issues. Okay, well, we we know Colombo will one-shot it. So, like, we're not going to test Colombo. But do you have Sap? Or, uh, do, you, do you have Sap? Do you have Austin, Arsonist? But does anybody have Austin? Let me try. Let Mime try. Okay, well, I'll let Mime try. it. Thunderer. Oh, okay. Well, I'll invite, I'll invite you, Mime. Uh, we'll test... Do a little bit of testing here, you know? Thunder, I think Thunder will be able to completely blap it, but I actually think Conqueror might be better at it. Oh no, Commander maybe did that. What'd the Commander do? Oh fuck, I didn't change the map. <laughs> okay, Mime. Meet in the middle, okay? I, I got pretty good speed, so I'll find you, okay? I'll find you. Fuck's sake. Oh, wait, no! Oh, thank god, it's the same map. Okay. Yeah, I think Conqueror would be a lot better than Thunderer. Plymouth? Oh, yeah, actually, we should test one one full Plymouth salvo. 16, 150 millimeters. That's, that's pretty dangerous. Oh, you didn't have a commander on. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I still don't think it would have done a diff made a difference for the ship. Probably, you know, it will help a little bit. All right, I'm uh, I'm here, mine. Just so you know, I'm I'm not up to any funny business. I'm 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 an honest man. I'll even radar. Boom, well, picking a radar. Okay, I'll just stop right here. You can line up. All right, there we go, and I am full stop. All right, guys, put your bets in the chat. Will he kill me or will he not kill me? One salvo. He didn't. Well, let's see if you can reload in time, son. Wait, you, dest <laughs> you destroyed all my all my torpedoes. Fucking kill me, dude. Just kill me. Just kill me already. I don't want to be here anymore. <sighs> there we go. 12k. I'm actually surprised it didn't. You rolled zeros. How did you get zero damage with sap? That's weird. Like, if you had sap plus, it would probably be worse so that's what I don't understand how how did you get zero is Ye I think Jaeger is tough man okay we're gonna try uh I want to see Thunderer uh, not Thunderer Conqueror or Saint Vincent yeah let's do all the British ones let's do Saint Vincent HE or AP yeah go for Vincent why not um actually do ap do ap with vincent and then you can finish me off i just want to see because i have a, i have a feeling when i play saint vincent that the ap pens more than some other battleships ap do on dds like I, i've had multiple engagements with a dd at close range where i just fire my ap and cl at close range and it just full pens you don't have conqueror oh okay we know conqueror will one shot it i mean i i have played enough conqueror to know that when you have 12 guns you do a lot of damage to DDs. It's more it's more of a volume of fire thing with HE than it is the damage. Because like once you get above 4, 406, it, it will do damage. Alright, I'm going to get up and close to you. Conquer, yeah, Conqueror is much punchier. You have APCS+. Oh. Well, 
that's interesting to know as well. What what is what is an if Saint Vincent versus Jaeger with APCS plus do? How how much how much damage? No 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 no. Okay, you're shooting over me. Oh, it's your oh, it's your autos. My not yeah, my bad. Well, I'm stopping right here. I forgot. Just take the shot quick, quick, quick before you kill me with the secondaries. Just shoot. God damn it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's what I said. That's what I said, bro. This thing is buck nutty, man. I want to see how much damage we do to a St. Vincent. Bro, that is fucked up. How does St. Vincent do better than Sap? That's not right, man. I like... Why would you play Italian ships when this exists? St. Vincent's just overpinned. Yeah, right? That's not correct. We, he did 15,000 damage to me. Or it was 14,000 because he did 1k with his uh, autos. But still, that shouldn't be allowed, man. Venezia trash tier? I mean... Venezia just needs a tiny bit, and then it's not trash tier. But yeah, the, the reason Venezia feels trash is because there's ships that do its job better. There is a solution. Just play Regolo. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I actually agree with Red. Just play Regolo. Uh, okay, what do you want to do? Colonize. <laughs> what do you want to do now, Mime? You're picking the Louisiana, so I'm guessing... Let me stop it. Venezia hate is not allowed. Bro, you, can I tell you something? Uh, I, I'm i gonna call you Apple White because I'm really bad at pronouncing French stuff. But I'll tell you one, one thing, bro. I love Venezia. I absolutely love Venezia. It's, it's with the heavy heart I say that it's trashed here. Because I've played Venezia ever since it came out. And it just saddens me greatly that Wargaming have pushed Venezia down to this. Like, it's actually sad. Just... AP properly. Wait, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to go the, get get the Jaeger or, or test St. Vincent Pen? Ah, you're rough way. You, exactly. That, then I know you're the Venezia guy. But you, rough way, you know I love Venezia. But you also know that I have to speak the truth. And Venezia just... There's a lot of other good ships out there. I wish Venezia was better. Test St. Vincent. Okay, well, let's test St. Vincent then. Jaeger versus Conqueror. We can't do that because Mime doesn't have it. So if somebody has a Conqueror, um, sure, we'll do it. Okay, so we'll do two shots because I, I think Mime or Louisiana will survive two shots. I'm not sure about three. Aim for the topmost point of the hangar. Okay, gotcha. Do you want to be bow in or broadside? Wait, let, let's... Yeah, I'll wait for your broadside. I'll just stay right here at this distance. You can launch planes if you want. I kind of want to see how deadly they are against my AA. Okay, so... Aim for the topmost part of the hangar. So like this? Let's see how that does. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Okay, I see what... I see... I, I don't need any more explanations. Let's try the, the, the where I aimed. I aimed around here, I think. So, if we aim here, then we will not get any damage. Let's see. This is probably why we got dispersion bugged. Yeah, I mean, we still get damage, but, like, we get one full pen compared to two citadels. Oh, yeah, but can you bow in, mine? Please bow in. Uh, it's coming. I think the football event is coming, Ness. It's just because of the time differences. You wish for a buff? I understand, Roughway. I totally get it. I, you know what? It's probably easier if I reposition instead of waiting for you to reposition. Because god damn, Chunky Boy, you are slow. Yes, on weak spot. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, um, we'll, we'll you, yeah, you go bow in, I go. Yes, exactly. It's a team effort, mime. It's a team effort. I like it. I won't get, I don't want to get too close, though. Okay, gun is almost turned around here, Mime. Just stay right there. It's beautiful. Hey, you can shoot at me. That's fine. Alright, um, I'm just reversing here so I get a little bit further away. <laughs> this is so... Like, it, this feels like retirement. Will the Warship Splits. We're, we're, it's a turn-based RPG. So I aim right at the top of your deck, right? 
Okay, yeah, I see. I see the point. I, I see what. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty nice to know that you just need to aim at the deck. A place where the super st structure and the deck join. Oh, that little shell catcher there? I think I know what you mean. Oh, I think that's a good spot. You're right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this going to bring back... No, I don't think they will. It, it wasn't on EU, at least. So, I don't think they're going to do something epic. Uh, I'm going to do that now, Red. We just had to test some things. But uh, I will play games now, guys. So, we are going to play Yodo. We'll do the Duncan and re do a redemption game after that. Thank you for uh, the help, guys. My an arsonist. That was actually the, the Louisiana thing was actually kind kind of nice. Because my lo my logic just said to me like, you know, hit hit the belt. That's that's where all the ammunition and fuel is. So obviously that's gonna be where the citadel is. But no. See people, Louisiana explodes to BBAP. It does. It definitely does. I mean, I, I've had my fair share of uh, citadels with like a Petro or something, but I, I don't see them often enough to actually, you know, have enough experience with it. But I'm glad we just tested that. We're never going to see 3v3 soccer again. I'm so sad because I never got to try it. I only heard about it and it looked really fun. I think it's spec for Yodo. No, it's definitely spec for Sao. Okay. Um, boom, a kaboom, this, that, this. Boom, all right. Play some Yodo. I saw you online, so I thought you were streaming. I am streaming. <laughs> you were correct. Very correct. Welcome to the stream, Mixton. Wait, is kaboom here? Or is that you, Michael? Are you Kaboom? No, you're not Kaboom. Oh, <laughs> okay, never mind. I know what you mean now. That was the best event ever. Wasn't it like their first event? <laughs> no, it all well, it, that was peak World of Warships event, and then it just went downhill from that. Okay, right, the event is in 22 minutes. For those of you who haven't, uh, been here from the EU part. I'll show you guys what this event has to offer. It's actually the one of the first events in a very long time where you could get something for free, a legendary commander. So, you know, I'll, I'm 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 not a, I'm not mad at it. It's it's better than what we usually have. Actually, something worth your grind. The the only thing is the commander is kind of like I don't know where to place him. You know, he doesn't really fit any ship well. He just kind of fits any Italian ship. I mean, he, he could be a good Regolo commander. He could also be a good Napoli commander or Giuseppe Verdi, but he's not like cookie cutter one ship. Kind of like uh, Haihachiro is the one I'm using here on Yodo. He's made for cruisers. Alright, let's wait. I mean, he's probably launched torpedoes, right? Ooh, hello, Dave. Let's get in a kiting position and just start farming Dave, man. <laughs> Is it is this is this Matt's older uncle, Matt Jim? What up, Matt Jim? I mean it's it's a Henry. Is that your uncle, Matt? <laughs> Matt Jim. <laughs> Matt Jim, bro. I love that name. Alright, we're just gonna No Yodo bot. That's not how we do. I thought we were cool brothers like that. You know, I thought we helped each other, but you just eat my torpedoes. Fair enough. Fair enough, bro. Fair enough, Yodo bot. He's out here to take all my damage, dude. That's what he's doing. Oh, we already lost two DDs? Wow. We're not we're a cruiser in a DD. Wrong. Wrong button. We're gonna have to fight this Z-52 at some point. Um, even though I don't really want to. Okay, let's get back in there. Probably launch torpedoes. Okay, that's three enemies down. Oh, sorry. Three teammates down. My bad. We got a lot of carrying to do. Yeah, I'm kind of sad I wasted my sonar. But uh, fat finger is a thing. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, 
Oh my god, we got a window licker. Um, I hope the battleship is about is could take a shot on this shimmer here. Fuck, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Wait. Okay, you know what? I didn't expect that. That was pretty fucking sick. I, I think he feels pretty bad now. I was sure I was... A Wait, you're alive? Dave. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Here we go. Dave is not alive anymore. And there's only three DDs left. This is, could actually be possible. Because they're going to take A now. He's out of Torps. That's good. Oh, okay. That's the set 52. He's... Oh, no! There's another one! What the hell, bro? <laughs> Come on, man. Let a boy live. Let a boy live. Oh, we're oh, we're about to get oh man oh what the hell <laughs> no no <laughs> damn that was a good jump scare man that was a good jump scare I thought it was only the set fifty two there. <laughs> Damn, dude, that actually gave me a fucking jump scare right there. All of a sudden, there's a full health daring, and I'm like, okay, well, that's it. Only call it soccer, because otherwise people in the US have zero clue what I'm talking about. Nah, guys, you don't call it soccer here. Except I also do it. Fuck. You, you Americans have corrupted me. When I lived over there, man, you guys made sure that I knew it was called soccer. And I called it soccer. Religiously. I shouldn't do that. That's my boy, London. <laughs> oh yeah, he's from Rage. Oh, wow, of course. London calling. Best skill for Commander, in my opinion, still has to be Swirsky. Uh, the improved rate. Oh yeah, I agree. Ra Swirsky is a really good Commander. Fuck. Die. Yes! You failed, son! You failed! Okay, he's still alive. Oh no, well, no, 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 no. He didn't, F he didn't fail. Oh no, my team's failing, no. Bro, what is this guy doing? Get it! He's gonna miss that, isn't he? Yeah, he's missing. Oh my god, I can't watch. I have to leave. I can't watch this anymore. You're calling railways railroads. I, is that... Is, I, it could be wrong, fair enough. English is not my first language. Or is that because it's a US thing saying rail, railroads? And it's British saying real ways. I mean, yeah, I, I my my English isn't perfect, guys, but I I could care less because it's not my first language. So already there, I I think I'm ahead. Damn, like English is actually, especially because the U.S. and England do things very differently when it comes to grammar. It's very very, you know, color armor O U or no U. It's very confusing. I don't need to take any missions. What am I doing? Railroads sounds very American. But it's East Pacific Rail... I don't remember what they were called. But I watched this, you know, a, a series about how the railroads... Railroads were built in the US. It's called Hell on... Yeah, Hell on Wheels. Did Stream just die? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm still here. Question, does anyone use steer control? I've seen people do it. I think there's a YouTuber who actually does it, which is weird, man. Oh, wait. Something did... It did just die. Okay. Well, I'm glad it's back. All right. In three, two, one. Oh, that was, okay, it was a lag spike. Okay. I think it was YouTube because I didn't have any lag in the game. So it might have been a YouTube lag thing. I used to go to Hartford, Connecticut for school. I took the Amtrak. Yeah, I think in 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 the East, it's you know Eastern U.S. It's it's a lot more prevalent. Like you know you know like Russia has the Trans Siberian Railroad. That thing is still being used quite a bit today. You know, U.S. could probably have something similar, but I guess you know domestic airplane travel is the way you 
get around the US or drive. Fix your internet, bro. I can't do anything about my internet, my man. I wish I could. I wish I could call Elon Musk right now and be like, give me some fucking Skylink, dude. Right now. Okay, it is it is lagging. I'm really sorry, guys. I can't do anything about it. I mean... I actually think it is YouTube, because I'm not having any lag issues. At all. In game, and if I if it was my on my end, I, I'm pretty sure that we would see it, especially up on that thing. Well, we'll see if it persists, and if it does, I will I'll check it. You know, maybe restart the router or something. Really, really, it's it's actually that bad. Okay, well we might have to do something about it. Oh man, what's the button? Uh, can we get some shells on target? We did. And there, there's a gearing just rushing, dude. <laughs> this is what I mean, guys. This is NA. The gearing is already in our base, kind of. like, and, and he's not doing bad. He hasn't taken any damage. There's no cruisers at all to take care of him. I mean, he's on the right flank. So this is, this is how NA feels to play. All of a sudden, there's a gearing in your base, and you're wondering what happened. You don't have an answer for it. <laughs> Oh, come on, that could be cool. That was cool. That was pretty cool. Resolution is fine. Okay, I need <clears throat> I need an, an update, like, gradually. If, if, if there are still people with issues, uh, it would be nice for an update. Because if it's, if, if it's a majority, I will do something about it. And check if it's on my end. But if not, I think it's better that I just wait it out. Alright, you fucked up. So you die. Yep. I mean, Fleet Admiral Darkseid. <laughs> How can you not be scared of a gearing? Definitely not my internet work laptop, maybe. I think it's YouTube, guys, because more people had the issues, and... I never once lagged. And trust me, I you can feel lag in this game, like, god damn. <laughs> All of a sudden, you just teleport. Let's go for this guy. Bad crumble. Oh, it's bad crumble again. What up, dude? Oh my god. Vermont is just so nice. Oh, I think there might be Shima torpedoes, actually. Why am I just sailing in a straight line like this? I know better than that, man. I know better than that. But he's getting away, dude. My man is actually getting away. I don't want that. Okay, well, I guess we'll go for bad crumble then. Or the other remont. Nope. We're gonna hold our horses, people. We're gonna let Tumtash here get in front of us. Tumtash, you... I, I have... Uh, approved your push, GK. Now go, young my younglin. Yes! You have been approved to push. Now go! Serve your country. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to move, my man. I'm not moving. That That's just... Yeah. I have the right of size. Yes. Good gearing. Very good gearing indeed. Well, that could have been way worse. And there's a shimmer right there. Alright, gearing, time to show what you got. Man, we we are not getting that much damage. Okay. Shimmer Torp Salvo incoming. Okay. Kinda scary, dude. Kinda scary. Did he only send one? Yo, what a lad. What an absolute lad. Okay, there, there it is. Let's go stay in between those. Alright, uh, yep, yep, I'm here. We're just slowly turning around here. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. Oh, yes. There we go. To be honest, what do you expect when you can teleport in this game? Bro, I want to unlock the teleport ability. Like, I, there's so many players that have teleportation in this game. And I've played this for five five years. I still don't teleport anywhere, man. I don't know how you unlock it. <laughs> Somebody know? Oh, we're dead. Okay. Bro, please push, guys. Okay, they're, they're doing it. 
Oh, there's still a full health Yamato? Well... Shoot! Shoot! Oh, we have an AFK Shimmer. That's why we have a hard time pushing. Yo, GK, give, give him a shot, bro. Come on, you got this. No. I guess not. No, 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 no. Come on, reload. Reload fast! Reload, you got them! Shoot! Okay. Yes, we got it off. Oh, man. Yeah, you know what? That's that's fine. We, we, we don't win every game, but that one was just because we had a very, very slow-acting team. Given how small European countries are... Yeah, trains make sense. You're absolutely right. But, I mean, I will say this. The good thing about trains is there's not, you know... When you, if you have 100 people in the train, that's not 100 people in cars. You know, it would help quite a bit if more countries adopted a better public transportation system. I know it sucks to be public transportation. I hate it too, but... You know, if everybody has a car... We're fucking doomed. I swear to God, we're fucking doomed. I mean, at least at least electric cars exist. We could be like EU, but developers messed up real bad when the newer cities were being developed. What's going on, bro? What this game is lagging like crazy, and it's not it's not you know internet lag. It's literally just FPS drops. Look at that again. Okay, we won. Cool. Trains are very space. Yeah, it, it's it, it would help quite a bit if you know all of the developed countries that have you know cars as every man's own type shit. That if if more people decided, you know what, I live in a big city, I don't need a car. That would help. We would probably help emissions quite a bit. New American Epic Commander Goku with Epic Skill inst Instant Transmission. <laughs> Okay, um, isn't there supposed to be an event? Oh, in three minutes, guys. Three minutes. And grief on Bob's stream while on the way to Denver at 200 miles per hour. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I mean, I guess you can. It's a mobile game, you know? So. Well, you're connected to the NA server while in Denmark. What do you expect? Yeah, true. Good point. Good point. There is a whole ocean, you know, between me and the, the server. Wherever it's placed in the US. So what we're we playing now? We're playing Duncan. That's right. We're playing Duncan. Ho hopefully I can do a little bit better than the, the last game I did with St. Vincent. That was actually kind of embarrassing. Can you play Gibraltar? Sure. Sure. Why not? We only got the Black Colomu in the California to play. So we can do Black... What did you say? Oh, not... Jib. We're going to call it the Gib. The Gibber. El Gibu. Where's Tovi? There he is. Give me Tovi. This guy, legendary commander, John Tovi. Henry? Sure, bro. Last night's Henry game was Pog. If I could recreate that, that'd be great. Okay, three, two, or one, go. Just use Airbus to bomb into your bombs. <laughs> yeah, just get yourself a, an Airbus 320 or something. Three, what do they call it? Airbus 380? Yeah, it's fine, man. Just don't get us a, a Boeing 737 Max. If you get a Boeing 737 Max, you're you're fucked. Either the door's gonna rip off, or you know, you're just your your plane is just gonna go nose down, and you can't do anything about it. He's <laughs> actually an epic commander, not legendary. Oh, sorry, my bad. You're right. Thank, thank you, glorious. <laughs> you fucking, you guys, man. Hood request. Do you want me to get bis? You know, do you want me to get hit by a Bismarck and get destroyed? Is that why I need to play Hood? Daring? Alright, I think we might have time for the daring request today. Yeah, we will. Oh, what are we playing against? Eight or eight or ten? Oh, it's ten. Okay. Oh, it's, it's just you and me, Red. It's literally just you and me. Remember DC-10? What's DC-10? I have no clue. Why such high, such high tiers? Uh, I I mean I mostly enjoy playing high tier, and I think most people when they watch YouTube, they they actually watch more high tier gameplay. I've I've just noticed that if I upload low tier ships, nobody watches them. Nobody gives a fucking rat's ass. So, I think it's just 
the way, you know, the natural progression of the game forces you to, you know, be at high tier. But if you want to see something low, bro, low tier, bro, just, you can always request it. Always. I know a lot of people actually enjoy low tier, so... Damn, that is just, like, the saddest fucking thing in the world. I go down the flank, who's there? This thing, the, the, the Friesland guy. We're just gonna leave. We're, you, we are just leaving. Okay, at least the B is clear now. Wait, is that even the Friesland? You're firing... It must be, yeah. Okay, there's the HE. I was just about to say. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't let me get hit by those. Uh, nah, bro. They're, they're gonna run out, right? No, they're, no, they're gonna hit me. You know what, Red? You can have this cap. You can actually have it, because I don't see a point in trying to chase you. Not good content, and not very entertaining. So we're gonna leave. Yep. Oh, you beached yourself. Okay, now I actually have a teammate with me here, so now I'm, I might feel a little bit frisky and actually go for the cap. Yep, let's go for the cap. See, when you're not all alone, this is a lot more doable. Okay, so we have a Kiev, Toby Bard, and I don't think Buffalo has seen that. <laughs> oh no, Buffalo, we, we, I had a teammate. I mean, oh yeah, there, there they are. <laughs> okay, he's actually dodging. Good, good job, dude. You know what? That was a nice play by the Buffalo. He baited out some torpedoes. True, true man of the people. Thank you for uh, coming to my rescue. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take over. Run away, Buffalo. Run away. You did your duty. I'm going to give him a thanks, actually. Then we'll go kill this guy. No, no, don't kill my buffalo! He's my only friend! Fucker's healing. Are you... I think it's... Guys, it's my curse. It's literally my fucking curse. Every time there's somebody one shot away, they heal. It, it, it's... It's it's my curse. Oh, and then I... Oh, okay. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, that's cool. You know, it's cool, whatever. It's cool. Whatever. Where where did he go? Now, if he if he doesn't die from this, I I will have to talk to the administration about this type of shit. Admin, it's not supposed to be like this. <laughs> At this point, this is very fucking annoying to deal with. <laughs> they, they killed my fucking buffalo. What? This, what's, this, what's this guy's luck for real, bro? Come on. Thank you. Now, I need to run away because <laughs> Friesland's still here. You see, how, how do I deal with Red? I just don't deal with him. It's pretty much the, the way I deal with Red. Because, I mean, it's Friesland. Bro has over a thousand battles. You gotta bounce first. Fuck, man, that is, that is a lot of. Oh. Oh, hello. Um. Mm, what are we gonna do? We're gonna eat some torpedoes. So, the question is, how do we wanna approach this? Okay, that's not too bad. Oh wow, it's actually quite nice. There's another DD right there. Man, there's just too much stuff here, bro. <laughs> That's just too much shit, man. Red has super aim power? No, Red just plays a lot of easy ships. Sorry, Red. <laughs> But that's, that's, I mean, yeah, Red is good at aiming, but I'm not going to give compliments to somebody playing Friesland over and over again. I'm sorry, Red. But GG, I mean, it was a fair game. There was nothing there. Nothing there. I don't know how you, su no, I don't, bro, I'm, I'm, I don't know how that fucking Ruprecht survived. That is insane.
I, mean, I guess he got lucky. I mean, the, again, my curse is it's just <laughs> unbearable. Oh my god, Les Big Roy. There he is. He's just listening in. I hope you're doing good, man. 10 gifted memberships. And we got one for Willow. We got one for Mixton. We got one for TO20. Pedro Castro. Ort74. Jan Eberlein. Jaime Vin. Stealthy Spectator. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good Twitch, oh, sorry, live stream name. Ilham Maliki, Tropo Striker, and Ahmed Fatala. Welcome to Team Bucknutty, guys. And thank you to Les Big Roy, the man, the myth, the legend. We got Chad B111. How are you, Bob? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Welcome to the stream, uh, Stormiel. <laughs> hey, yo, Big Roy! What just happened? Uh, Les Big Roy gave 10 memberships. Because Les Big Roy is insane in a, in a good way. It's, it's a compliment, positive way. Even Tropo got it. <laughs> I know how the Ruprex survived. His title said Immortal. Oh my god, that's why, dude. That's why. Do I, I think I need to remove my hat. I need to remove my hat to be a better gamer. We need to go bald, guys. Do you see these red lines? This is because I'm sweating and I'm fucking mad. No, I'm not. It was actually a good. It was a fun game. You know, I have nothing against Red, for example, playing Friesland when he's not strictly going for me. So, I thank you, Red, for, you know, just playing normally. That was a horrible game. <laughs> Ban Tropo? Nah, man. Yo, yeah, if, if, if Tropo decides to bring out an FDR, you know, we might. Even in Friesland, you can't save them all. No, no, you're right. I mean, I, I don't, I can't think of any ship that can actually carry a game. Like, for real. Um, I don't know. No ships can. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Cue ball looking man. That's me, bro. Good to know, Bob. I think I might have to DM you, but I got some good line. Oh, that's good. I'd like to hear about that. You can always tell me, good or bad. And where is... Where's? I, I know this Buffalo didn't do a lot, but you know what? I, I respect the Cruiser player who actually goes for DDs, and he did. So, thank you, Stormquake. Thank you, bro. It's not very often that DD, sorry, cruiser players actually do their, their sacred duty of, of hunting destroyers, but he did. Ban hi hi, no, no, don't ban hi hi, guys. Hi hi has never done me anything. He might be, he might be a scoundrel in all the other streams, but you know, when I tell hi hi to <laughs> to stop, he stops. Some some other people, it took some time when I told them to stop. So you know what? Where even is Hi Hi? <laughs> good, good question. They still haven't fixed the event. It's not. Oh, it's here. It's here. Okay, let's check out the event then. So, let's start out. Um, we have. I looked away for a second and something. <laughs> yeah, I'm bald, bro. I'm bald, bro. Yeah, you didn't expect that, did you? I even have the mo the craziest receding hairline, bro. Oh man, I didn't realize. I look like Captain Miller from Saving Private Ryan when he takes off his helmet and he's got like, you know, this thing. Bro, why do I why do I have such a receding hairline? I'm very happy I'm okay with being bald. I need to put on my helmet now. Like I can't I can't do this. I gotta get ready for gaming. I can't wear this. Nope. Baldman. <laughs> Alright, I'm uh, sorry, I need to check out the event. Uh there's a crate. Futsa Italia. And you can get uh, what's his name? Rogo the, that the Paolo, whatever. You can get the um, Vittorio Veneto. No, that's Black and Malfi. Okay. You can get the Paolo Emilio. Okay, that's kind of cool. And you can get the Napoli. I don't know why they put this in a fucking crate when, <laughs> when it's in the shipyard, but okay. You know, maybe they could have put the Black Colombo in here instead of the Napoli. I don't know. I don't know. Just thinking. Then we got this guy, Lorenzo Babieri. Babieri. This guy is a good Rugolo commander. I was thinking about you, Red, when I saw this. I was thinking, Swift as the Wind, 100% engine, ex ex engine accelerator skill duration. This is crazy. Like, if you had this on Rugolo, your, your, your speed boost just got, you know, doubled in, in duration. It's actually crazy. And then you have Sap Plus, which is also nice. So this is a very good elite commander for Rugolo players. Windows, Windows, Windows peak hairline. I got the same thing. You know what? It's 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 whatever, man. You can always get a toupee, but at the same time, you also want to keep your dignity. You know. <laughs> no offense to people who have toupees, but yeah. 
you just gotta accept the fact that one day your golden locks or your brown beautiful locks they're gonna go away some men are very lucky some are not and i'm pretty sure looking at my receding hairline that i'm definitely not one of the lucky ones even though my mom said don't worry bob you're not gonna lose your hair all your uncles have a lot of hair don't worry about it yeah mom your, your predictions were off but i appreciate the gesture you know <laughs> Only reason I don't use him for Rugolo is because Paolo is better. True. Yeah, if you have Paolo, there's overall more skills. Here we go. This is the event. You can buy the commander for 10,000 of these. You can get 12,900 for getting 100 wins. So the reason I'm saying this is free to pay fr friendly is because you can actually quite easily get 10,000 of these just by playing for a week. So I think it's cool that Wargaming have decided to, to put in something free what i don't understand is why they're pl pricing this at twenty-five thousand when they're putting a legendary commander 10. like i'm not saying i'm fine with the legendary commander being ten thousand. that's great but maybe instead make this um ten thousand this fifteen thousand so people can decide between a ship or a legendary commander i don't know i don't know man is your mom mickey mouse oh yeah oh gee my mom's mickey mouse <laughs> I, I didn't realize. All right, Black Colombo, let's uh, stay on track here. I'm going to get my hat back because I am giga insecure about my hairline. Like, holy shit, man. Damn. Damn, bro. Well, how about this? No, I look like an idiot now. We're just going to do the good old North Face cat. Oh, Abruzzi. You're right, Abruzzi. My bad. You're not bald. You just have hair worn. Oh. <laughs> Damn, bro, that one's rough. You're not bald. You just have hair worn from women's thighs. That is both disgusting, just because of hair, and oh my god, that's that one. That one was good, bro. That was good. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, should we try this new commander? Um, just just doesn't really make sense. I guess these skills are good. No, we're we're not gonna use him here. We're gonna take Iachino, I think. Yeah, let's do Iachino. I think that's uh, that's fine. You know what? Since we are playing Colombo, Black Colombo, I'm going to try Sap Plus, just just because. Okay, uh, let's do Demo Expert. And I, I, will, I will not take Compartment Maintenance. No thanks. We're going to do Adrenaline Rush. And, oh, 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 Precise Aiming. Galore, give me it. Yes, yes, yes. And let's just do HP, because why not? I mean, why not? It's it's a buff. We're going to use it. All right. In three, two, one, go. No, it is 25k for Duca. Yeah, yeah that might... Okay, that's fine. I just meant that, you know, a tier six or seven premium ship that's like four or five years old should not be over double the price of a legendary commander. I think, I think the legendary commander should be what... You know, if, they, if they're going to make the ship cheaper, ship 10k, legendary commander 15k. Instead of a ship that came out so long ago that barely anybody will care about for 25,000. Yeah, he is. He is a, a retired football player. Bob, don't be selfish in bed, bro. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. Yeah, he's the guy who got headbutted by Sudan. I remember that. I was one of the first ever soccer game. Oh my god, I just said it. Can't say that, Bob. You got, you gotta say football. Yeah, he's uh, it's the first football match I ever watched, and um, yeah, that was an interesting game. I was a young lad, and I did not. I, I remember asking my dad, "Why did he do that?" And he said, "Cause he's an idiot." But, you know, the story apparently has a lot more nuance than, than just Sidan taking the blame there. Sap CS doesn't do much on Colombo Sap. Oh, well. Oh, yo, we got we got Roughway in here. We got Arsonist too. Roughway showing the Venezia how, how we do it, man. Sidan a hero for that shit. Yeah, when I heard the whole story, I was like, oh, that's why he did it. Well... He should have done more. He should have attached a spike to his head or something. Okay, that, we're going to stop right there. Never mind. I didn't say that. Just realized you have a gun in the back. <laughs> yes, I do. It's not real, though. It's it's very, very much fake. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to 
want that thing around because it looks very real. It's just a, an airsoft gun or hardball or whatever you want to call it. Splatter pistols. Let's try the sap on a Des Moines. Just because I feel like it, dude. Oh, that was a pretty good dodge, actually. Textbook dodge from the Des Moines. Alright, you know what, Arsonist? I'll follow you. We haven't spotted any destroyers yet. I was young. Fuck, Bob. That hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all, to all my... My... You know... Young, but experienced individuals. Because nobody is old here. Everybody is a young... But there's some people with more experience and some people with less experience. So from now on, you cannot say old people. You can only say experienced young people. <laughs> experienced young people. <laughs> that is copium if I ever heard any anything. Wow. Um, I really want a nice salvo from this thing. But Smiley here is presenting a very, very annoying target that I would love to hit but can't. Give me that god tier dispersion that I so ache for, please. Alright, Naz is chilling. Oh, Naz is... He's far away. Oh, we got a non-pen. I love that. I'm baby. <laughs> Dude, we're, we're all just a little bit... We're all young guys. And nobody's... Like I said, nobody's old here. For God's sakes, we're playing a video game. That's like the most, the most young thing you can do. I don't know. Maybe maybe back in the day playing video games was like, you know, only kids did that, but it's it's been it's become more of a norm for, you know, people of all ages to play. Spe you can see that especially with this game. Yo, this Des Moines is is not getting hit at all. I I'm pretty tired of shooting at him. I I might as actually just leave him to cook cuz it's that annoying. Yeah, I see him. I see him. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait patiently for this guy to turn. Oh, wow. He's very dead, I think. Close. Close. Man, you sound like my 62-year-old father. He feels like a young, super young until he sees himself in the mirror and instantly starts crying. That sounds like my dad, bro. <laughs> My, my dad is, he does not like the fact that he's, what, is 64 now, I think? So around the same age as your dad. Yeah, man, and don't ever tell your dad he's old. Because, like like he says, my dad, he says, well, I might, I might be old in age, but in, in my head, I'm still 16. And I think that's a beautiful way of living, you know? Age is, yeah, exactly, age is only a number. It's really what you make of it. It's really what you make of it. I mean, kids are the worst because they, they, they don't give a shit about how old you are and how, how insecure you are about your age. They'll just be like, are you from the Stone Age? <laughs> I once had a kid ask me if I was from the Stone Age. That that one hurt, big time. Hey, let's get it. We got, we got the mime. We got the mime. How young are you? Oh, very nice, very nice, very very good question there. Very got way, good way of putting it, XT. I am 24 years old, years young. We have to change the meta, guys. I'm 24 years young. I think my mouse kind of jerked a little bit there. Okay, man, this thing feels kind of underpowered. I would I would rather have the normal Colombo. I, I mean, it's the same guns and all, but the the scouting plane really is nice to have because. You can, you can just sit in camp, and that 30 second reload becomes kind of, you know, pointless. It doesn't really matter, whereas when you're playing the Black Columbo, I mean, you get you have that extra smoke, right? But I don't know. Yeah. Auto-aim, no auto-aim, doesn't really make a difference. He, oh my god, Red! <laughs> oh my god, Red, what the hell is that?! <laughs> That's a very fucked up joke, bro. But, you know, the most fucked up jokes are sometimes the best ones. And you're I think you're absolutely right. I think he definitely had that mantra, man. Boy, that is disgusting. Alright, Naz. Wait. I might have just lagged there. Yeah, I think we I just lagged for a second. I'm sorry, Naz. 
We are about to have a fun time. There is a DD right there. Either Naz is being very, very brave right now, or Naz is being a nice guy and giving me a free kill. Oh. What the hell just happened, bro? Am I lagging? I must be lagging. Wait, what? Naz, how do you teleport? What just happened, bro? Where did you go? Did you put what button do you press to teleport? Bro just disappeared. <laughs> Age gaming dino. <laughs> Who likes miners? Oh god. Apparently Epstein did. Fucking disgusting creature. He had a fitting Epstein had a fitting ending. Yes, YouTube, cancel me if you want. Epstein had a fitting ending. He he took the coward's way out, just like he was. A fucking coward. Disgusting piece of trash. Disgusting, actually. Fitting ending. It's a new commander skill. <laughs> Nas, give me, give me. What? Where, where did you get it? I want, I want to teleport just like you, man. He actually just disappeared. I think it might have been my end lagging. It was lagging, and I got booted out of the. Oh, so it was your end. He did. Wait, he didn't. I heard he killed himself. Oh fuck. Oh, YouTube is such a sensitive place, man. Why did Woke Agenda also have to ruin YouTube? I mean, you can't even... You have to say unalive now. Like, it's so stupid, bro. Oh, he unalived himself. Bro, why? Everybody knows what it what it means. What? No, I'm, neither did Boeing Whistleblower. <laughs> the Boeing Whistleblower. He's a Chad, though. Boeing Whistleblower, my man. I mean the 737 Max that they should be they should have a court case for that man they should they should be sued Boeing I know they're part of the military industrial complex and they're very important but like come on it, if it ain't broke why are you trying to fix the plane dude 737 Max yeah they should definitely be sued for that somebody needs to pay a price like come on retire from life Say okay, Sam. What the fuck does North Face have to do with that? I need to know, cause over here that's a totally different thing. Like it, it woke people over here, they have you know rainbow clothes. They got they, you know probably most most of the time got blue hair. You know soy boys. You know you got you got you know your your hay clothes. You got your recyclable clothes. You drink your soy milk. What the fuck does North Face have to do with that, bro? My favorite. My favorite. Bread, bro. Oh. <laughs> Bob, I'll not go into, but I can see why they changed it to that. I can't. You know what? It, look, it, 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 the, the biggest problem with the internet right now is we have... The, the, okay, out of 100 people, one person finds it offensive, and then all 99 other people have to, to correlate into that reality. It's not how the world works. People do not care what you find offensive or not in reality. But the problem is that nowadays, the 10% of people, they control the rest of the 90% because the big corporations, politicians have all jumped onto this. And it's it's a good thing that we are inclusive, but it's a problem when free speech is impended in, in, in like it is right now. You cannot speak your mind freely on the internet. Because of what's happening in the US, the whole world is changing to revolve around this woke agenda. There's nothing wrong with being woke, but it's a problem when you're inflicting other people's lives and deciding how they should live. That's a huge issue in my opinion. And that's why I have an issue with YouTube destroying free speech on you, you know the internet. Because you there's just so many things you can't say anything. The minority reality. Yeah, exactly. You know exactly what I mean, Joe. I have nothing against you being different and wanting to live your life the way you do, but you shouldn't force your way onto mine. It's very simple. Very fucking simple. And that's why people don't like woke wokeness because they force their stupid agenda down on others. Like god damn, bro. You've had 5 years of this. You've had 5 years. Isn't it enough? You got to play Jabra, right? It was Jabra. That's right. Uh, I accidentally deleted it. Where is it? There it is, Jabra. Are you considering giving get, getting it? Bob, you haven't seen anything. Um, I have mine. I went to a school where, because I worked in the military, I was... At the first, guys, the first week of my school, the reason I'm on an online studio is because the, at the first week, 
we had a girl from Somalia in my class. She was originally from Somalia. And when she heard that I was in the Navy, she asked in forum, have you been, have you hunted pirates? Have you done counter piracy? And I said, yes, I have. And she called me a racist, a murderer. And she, uh, you know, went down to the, the, the dean's office or the principal's office and complained about me and said I had threatened her life. And I was pulled through so much shit because she was offended. And the thing, and when I came into this interrogation, I was like, called, I was like, so what, what, what's the issue? Who did I threaten? And they said, well, she said this and that. And I said, well, how, why do you take her seriously? And they said, well, 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 I said, look, she's got three criminal convictions. She sells drugs and, and, and she is 32 years old and still has, does not have her life in order. And you, you believe her. That's when I realized that this, this is screwed, man. You know, I, I've, I've defended my country. I, I have been in situations where it was life and death. And here I have teachers sitting here and believing somebody who, you know, is not credible, if you ask me. So yeah, I, 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 have, I have dealt with it mine and I'm fucking done. <laughs> I remember saying, you know what? Screw this, I'm out. And I haven't looked back since. Best decision I took. Right? That's also what I thought. I also said, like, so so what you're saying is you, you would rather believe the person who your country, your politicians, you voted yes for, for Danish sailors to go down there and deal with. Yet when they come up here and then start screaming racism, whatever, whatever it is, that then you're with them all of a sudden. Yeah, it's we're living a screwed up world, man. Bro, wokeness has gone too far. I'm all for equality, but there's a difference between all... F yeah, that's the problem. You also have people that are homosexual or queer or whatever. They're saying it needs to stop. That's when you know it's reached a point where it's like, guys, just fucking shut up. Get on with life. Oh, it's hard? You have to pay taxes? No, it's not a fucking gender issue. It's not a race issue. It's a you, you issue, my friend. Get on the fucking horse, stop crying, and move on. Damn. <laughs> I've also been in the Navy. I'm still in the Navy. And if someone asks about pirates, then call me a Like, yeah, exactly, bro. Like, what? These fucking retards tried killing me. So, of course, we're going to answer back. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Damn it, Bob. I just want to do my quest. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it became a little bit, um, a little bit hectic all of a sudden. Hey, what up, Hogberg? Welcome to the stream. The majority should leave the minority to do their thing, and the minority should... Yeah, it's, you know, a basic thing for humans to get along is just, you know, respect other people for what they are. And if they treat you like shit, well, that individual shouldn't be dealt with then. Just ignore them. Like, man, it's so, so mind-boggling that 80 years ago, a lot of young men just died on a fucking beach. Because we needed to get free speech and democracy. And, and the people who are just completely ruining and abusing this freedom that we have. And the sacrifices that were made. That's probably what pisses me off the most. Is the abuse of freedom of speech. Like, God, that is sad, man. Imagine, imagine dying on D-Day in 1944 and then figuring out 80 years later that it's all like this now. Yeah, I'd be fucking sad. I'd be like, why did I even go? I love paste palm rants. <laughs> I mean, this is this is pretty much me getting cancelled, guys. But you know what? They can do all they want. They can try their best. <laughs> we will never surrender. We shall fight on the forums. We shall fight with the admins. We will never surrender. <laughs> Let's focus on the game again. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Joe. You're right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, watch the videos. That, I saw that video. Sorry, that it actually made me cry. It, I, I, I broke down crying because, you know, it actually, it, it really hurts me that, you know, as a European, I think it's very important to know that the reason we still are here today is because of US, English, Canadian, and the resistance people that, that just sacrificed everything for a better world. And it, yeah, it just makes me very, very sad and it hurts me to know that it's not what they were fighting for, man. It's, it's, yeah. The West is deteriorating very fast. Tr yeah, Churchill. <laughs> I don't think Churchill was fighting for that, but you know what I mean. 
Wait, I have four smokes. Maybe I should use them. Maybe I should use them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, um, let's get this guy. Ah, eh, he's running off. Can we hit him? No, too far away. All right, gearing my friend. Yo, Bismarck, what up? It's my cat. What up, dude? All right, that's one. Um, let's get back in the cap, I think. Yeah, let's get back to the cap. Oh, Jarhead. Jarhead's going for a gunner. <laughs> the Jarhead's going for the gunny, the gunny sergeant. <laughs> if you guys have watched, um, well, Jarhead, then then that's that makes sense. That's actually kind of funny. Jarhead versus the gunner. The gunnery sergeant, man. Oh, okay, Nameless is on the enemy team, and uh, I feel bad for you, Nameless, because you you just you just pulled a very very unlucky hand to get the CV that decides to push when like literally everybody's still alive. Can we just get an F's in the chat for Nameless? Ah, Jarhead died. I'm very sad about that actually. Oh, there's also Montana. Jesus Christ, man. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We have got to go. We have got to go, mate. No more dilly dally. I'm the Gibraltar. Yeah. You want some tea and crumps crumpets with that? Or do you want yourself a cucumber sandwich with butter? I don't know what just happened, guys. I don't know what happened. Don't don't question it. It just happens. Alright, well, I need to get the heck out of here uh, I guess we'll go for Montana soon sooner or later boom Dodge, dodge. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We're actually... Oh, fuck. We're losing. Okay, I'm gonna run like hell. Uh, I just realized Schlieffen has secondaries. Yeah, big shocker. Wow, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> big, big surprise. Yes, big surprise. Okay, that helps quite a bit. Good job, DD. Oh, Smolensk is dead. Okay, well, that, I think this game actually is over now. Oh wow. If I if I didn't move, they would have actually hit me. I'm surprised. Okay, that's another one. Oh no, Mike! Mike! Wake up, Mike! <laughs> Mike, you gotta you gotta wake up, Mike! <laughs> He's right there, shakedown! He's right there, dude. Come on. Why is CV player so fucking dumb, bro? Okay, then again, to be fair, I think I think he might be AFK. Yeah, I haven't seen any planes from it. Oh, yeah, he's definitely AFK. Wow. Well, you know what? <laughs> we'll get a lot of damage this game. I, I'll take it, man. I'll take it, bro. <laughs> I swear, man, there's nothing better than seeing a CV. Just being completely oblivious to a battleship like... Five kilometers away from him, you know. That is that is comedy gold right there, man. Oh, we, won't, we won't get the the kill, I think. Let's try, let's try. Oh, that's so close! Come on, come on, come on! Get the gun! Yes. There you go. <laughs> My favorite thing about Fallout series is that you get to see the promise of post-war America realized and globalization gets wrecked. Yeah, I mean, Fallout is kind of like a good representation representation of what the world could look like if we uh, decided to nuke each other. Russia didn't beat the Germans. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, with without the lend lease or whatever it's called, uh, the the program where the U.S. supplied Russia, no, that they probably wouldn't have. I don't think Russia could ever lose to the Germans in World War II just because of the sheer size of Russia. 
but that 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 was that must mean or Soviet Union my bad that must mean that the let's say Moscow was taken right still doesn't mean you win but if you look at what happened in Ukraine when the the Germans came in they were happy to see the Germans because they didn't like Stalin so if we take that logic it, it could be the same thing in, in in you know mainland Soviet Union but yeah I, I totally agree with you storm that I, without without the help from the Allies you know the Soviets wouldn't have survived and without the Soviet push from the east the Allies would have a, had a much harder time dealing with the Germans because they were split up so I think it was very much a joint effort I mean yeah pretty much Storm the Yank didn't get the full force of Germany because had yeah that's true yeah, I mean, just like I said, I think both parts were equally important in this. Like, uh, the Allies wouldn't have could, couldn't have done it in that time without the Soviets and vice versa. How many axes can you do, Bob? Quite a bit, dude. I've actually uh, tried to do voice acting and stuff because it's something I've always done when I was younger, just speaking weird voices. So it's like it's like a you know career path emergency plan that I have down the road. If, if I get tired of being a soldier, I'll do that. Best thing came out of the USSR is AK-47. Changed my mind. Let me think. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. I also like the PKM. And the Dragunov. I think the Dragunov is actually quite nice. Well, we got 148,000 in that game. I didn't even notice. Oh, yeah, he was AFK. He was definitely AFK. Well, you know what? That's That's how it is. Kind of wild how everyone forgets Russia started World War II by helping the Germans. Yeah, there's a whole thing right there. I mean, it, it, I always thought it was kind of weird that, you know, the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, you know, all that shit that happened there, the Allies still wanted to be friends with them. But if, if, if Mr. A.H. never, you know, backstabbed Stalin, then I'm pretty sure that, you know, it would have looked very different. So, yeah, it's kind of wild. But, I mean, my, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So, I guess, I think that's what happened, to be honest. PKM makes your arm numb after about... Oh, you've tried it? Oh, so it doesn't have, it doesn't have a buffer tube? Like, a, not a buffer tube, what are they called? Yo, yeah, recoil buffer. Like an M16, you know, that has the, the tube there. It doesn't have that? Russia couldn't hold their land in the summer, but they could hold it in the winter. I mean, if people, if people this, you know, disrespect the Soviet army I, I think you're making a grave mistake um i'm pretty sure that the soviet army was the only reason it was so hindered is because stalin purged twenty three thousand of his trained officers the, the the armies were not organized when the the germans invaded let me drop in the henry game all right i'll uh, i'll do a countdown i'll do a countdown let me get the henry yeah there's a lot of people that say that the soviets didn't do anything in world war ii and i think it's very easy to say that because, you know, Russia calls it the Great Patriotic War and they never, they never speak about the Western allies. But I think it's very important to recognize, like, there was, there was a whole set of people there, you know, a ton of Soviet soldiers that sacrificed just as much, if not more, than the allies did. So, in three, two, one, uh, go. So I'm going to, I haven't forgotten because my country was attacked by them right after Germans aggress Germany's aggression. Yeah, I mean, I understand why, you know, the Russians are now still kind of on edge. Because honestly, like, yeah, that was the biggest backstab in, in history, I think. Just, you know, we make a pact and then we just say, fuck you. Molotov Ribbentrop pack was going to go considering how mustache man felt. Yeah, it, it, it was it was a you know net negative for Stalin no matter what. But I think you know he was he, he probably didn't think that Hitler would take such a stupid gamble. I mean we all know what happened with Napoleon in, in the start of the 1800s. Didn't go so well. And it's kind of funny how they thought they could do it over a summer. Like bro, have you seen the size of Russia? <laughs> Get your shit straight, dude. Yes, I know Blitzkrieg is fast, and oh, I have a Panzer too. Kalabunga did. Yeah, no. Good luck. Good luck, bro. One of the biggest reasons Russia won is actually because they didn't just they didn't produce very very complicated tanks. They produced the T-34, which was a tank that worked. 
it was easy to produce, it, it was fast, agile, not as good as a Panzer 6 or, uh, you know, a Tiger 2 or whatever, a Panther, but it, it, it was able to be built and it didn't have as much maintenance as a, as a German tank. That's also something you got to think about. Like, German weaponry was so Wunderwaffe that it sometimes was, you know, too much for them. You know, what, what does he say? Uh, Stalin says, quantity is a quality all on its own. And it's very, very true. And if, if you look at the Russo-Ukrainian war right now, I mean, it, it's it's so true there even. So true. All right, we're going to switch flanks here. Oh, can we squeeze in here? I think we might be able to. Oh, okay. Cool. Sejong. Let's see what we can do about this guy. What do we have here? We have a Sejong. We have a CV. How, how is he? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's completely broadside. Oh, man. Oh, that is real fun. That's a gamer moment right there. Oh, that is a gamer moment if I ever seen one, guys. <laughs> Give me a crisis. Why are you say? Stop sitting still, guys. Why are you sitting still, bro? Well, why are we lagging all of a sudden? Like, what? I swear to God, Bluestacks has had a weird... Like, I, I, I lag a lot more FPS-wise than I usually do. Ah, so fucking close, man. The average Panzer took out many T-34s, and the only strategy that the T-34-85 had was to outflank and struggle. Yeah, but, the, the, you know, even though the, the German tanks were so good, they just couldn't deal with the amount of numbers that, you know, the Soviets could produce. And I think I think what Germany really needed was maybe just to produce a lot of Panzer IVs and not focus on, you know, making a Tiger II or a, a Jagd Tiger. Just focus on what works. I mean, maybe not. Maybe upgrade the Panzer IV, right? So it's not as antiquated. Oh fuck! I have to. I have to go for this. I have to commit to this. Oh my god, bro! I literally just ate that for free. He's done. Let's just run away so we don't take <clears throat> more unnecessary damage. Bring back the mustache. Your prayers have been heard, mister. Don't worry, it, it is coming back. It's actually being grown right now. It's organic too. Organic mustache. No pesticides on my lips, bruh. Hell no. Had strength and quantity, German strength and quality. Yeah, and when you're fighting a country that is at the size of what, you know, the, the Soviets, you, you know, your Wunderwaffe won't help you. I guess that's what we found out. And that's what the Germans found out. But I think, I mean, there's so many aspects to Second World War and a lot of uh, people love to do what if scenarios. I think no matter what, they were going to lose that war. I don't think it ever would have been possible the way it, it, it turned out, you know. It, okay, maybe if the, the Brits, you know, gave up. Maybe. And the US were like, well, we, we're not going to fight them all on our own. We probably just need to be friends with them, which would make absolute sense, you know. There's a new world order, but with the way it was, the, the, the factions or the nation or alliances, how they were, I don't think that Germany ever stood a chance. Like the, the, the military industrial might of the US is incomparable. Nobody can match that. I mean, yes, the Soviets could. How many ships was it the US produced in a day, like the Liberty ships? It was something like one or two a day, which is absolutely crazy, dude. There you could talk about quantity. <laughs> Definitely a quantity thing. I'll steal that kill. Davenport, I appreciate it. You must only eat organic food. Aw, oh, bro. That's, that's something I can only eat organic food when I'm like 40 years old. Damn, you wouldn't even you don't even know how expensive organic food is here. It's fucking crazy, man. I I love buying organic because I do think it's a good thing, but like, jeez, bro. Make make it make it available for normal people, you know. 
US Navy compares its own. Uh, yeah, it's unfair to everyone. You're right. It still kind of is. Like, <laughs> I mean, China has a huge navy, but they don't have any experience with a modern navy compared to the US. And yeah, 11 CVs. Yeah, 11 CVs. I'll just, I'll just stop right there. 11 CVs. It's no fucking laughing matter, man. <laughs> We need to go cap now. Oh no. Oh man. Okay. The reason why America just steamrolled some stuff because we had numbers. Yeah, and also timing. Like, if you think about it, when. That's why it made sense to do it later. When the US entered the war in on June 6th, you know, the, the further they came, the more inexperienced the enemy so Germans were. Like,. When they first came on D-Day, I'm pretty sure that the, the battalions were that were there, I've heard, were like penal colonies, penal battalions. They were foreign fighters and the, the least experienced because the Western Front wasn't very active back then. So all the good guys were... Well, not the good guys. All the experienced soldiers were on the West, Eastern Front. I don't know about the German Wonder Weapon thing. The STG came in too late. V2 was never used extensively. Mouse was a failure. Oh, yes. Type 21s didn't arrive in time. Horton was not really a stealth bomber. Oh, bro. The Horton 2 2. Oh, I can't. Yeah, the, the, the flying wing, you know, the, fur, the the what the B 2 bomber is based off of. I think that's so cool. I'm very glad they never got it to work because I think that would have been scary, man. Beard bomb. Yeah, I'm, I'm guys. I am completely clean shaven. I don't have a mustache or anything. CV by USA around 90 built in World War II. Of course, a lot. Of little but yeah they i mean there's there's a big distinction between an amphibious assault ship and a carrier a super carrier as the u.s like to call it bro the u.s literally teabagged on the hygiene <laughs> yeah like <laughs> the battle of midway is that's about the biggest blunder in naval history i think i don't know i'm, I'm not very good well versed in very very old naval stuff but what the Japanese, what happened to them on Midway? <laughs> that, that fuck, bro. I would have given up right there if I was Japanese commander. I'd be like, yo, that's that's it. That's the US military, bro. We, we, we fucked up. We shouldn't have attacked them. We shouldn't have done that. But, but we did. So, yeah. Oh, Sam. Sam, you and I. You and I. I love the Mosquito. Mosquito, the, the Havilland Mosquito is one of the coolest airplanes to ever fly. And I love playing it in Enlisted. It's one of my favorite planes in Enlisted, just because the Mosquito. But I will say that the the ME262 has a very special place in my heart. I think it's a, such a cool looking plane. Like, it, it looks like a shark. It looks like an evil animal, man. We need beard limb. Guys, I can't get a beard. I, I, I can only get like a, a tip the fedora neck beard type of stuff. And I, I will not grow a neck beard. I will drink the monster. You can call me Kyle, but I will not have a neck beard. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is, mime. This is from last time I played Hood. So, <laughs> you know, we're just we're just cooking with whatever we got here. Yamamoto told his country that if they pissed off the U.S., they'd get stomped. Yeah, I know that there's a scene in the Midway movie that came out a couple years ago where, you know, you actually follow Yamamoto and one of the u.s military attaches or navy attaches to eat japan and yamamoto is like you know we're gonna attack you probably <laughs> he's like you shouldn't do that and he said yes i know but nobody's listening yeah I, I feel bad for yamamoto man i mean bro did what we what he could with what he had the oh 64 or you think the ah 64 the oh the oh could be like an older version Last I remember, Horton was partially built with wood or some cheap and bad materials, not even close to still bowing. I mean, back then, it would have been pretty stealthy if you think about it, because wood is not as reflective as metal is. So the reason they made it out of wood is because it has a, a much tinier radar cross-section compared to metal. But yeah, you're right. It, with modern-day radars, I don't think it would have ever been stealthy. But I mean, the, back then, the radars weren't that, you know advanced so I, I i actually think it, it could have worked on paper but i don't think they would have done it in time for the war that's that's for sure but that's a huge project 
Okay, let's just... Bro, what the fuck is that name? Sweet Tits? Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. That's a weird-ass name. Why do I get grandma vibes from that? I don't know, man. Oh, I just planted that in everybody's head. Now everybody's cursing me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, OH64 Mini Chopper. So it is a different one. I was just making sure. I need to check that out. We need to find a picture of that after this. Oh, wait. I think I know it. I think I know it. It's one of the first choppers the US adopted, right? It was used in the Korean War, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. It looks goofy as hell. It, it looks like the, um, the, the, so the, not the Soviet, the Russian naval helicopter they have, uh, the one that has two main rotors, it's really ugly. It's like one of the ugliest helicopters in the world. Also, Bob, I'm, in my opinion, the coolest World War II post jet is the P-80. Oh yeah, the P-80 is really nice. I actually love all the, um, post-war planes, like, you know, right when Jet Age kind of started. There was also some pretty cool twin-engine fighters. Uh, the XP-50, I really like that thing. I hope to see it in Enlisted one day. NA names moment. Yeah, right? It does give get Grandma vibes. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks it. Thank you, Glorious. I appreciate the the that I'm, I'm, I'm just not an idiot here. Or disgusting. First German heli is a co caliber? Oh, Colibri? I don't know. Man, I love helicopters, but I could I could actually see I don't know anything about them. I'm sorry, Kike Dune, but yeah, I'm not moving. My boy, I am not moving. I mean, I'll, I'll move backwards, but that's it. Go, Kike Dune! Oh, you're about to get slapped by Grandma. <laughs> She's gonna get the Bible out. She's gonna whip it all over your face, bro. You better run, Kike Dune. Oh, 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 please, please kill him. Mm. That's not quite what I was hoping for, but uh, it's a start. It's a start, you know. German helicopter, Adolf's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's coming back. The Bolognese Colonel is here. I wonder if you can make lasagna with his Bolognese. Is it, is it a universal one? Does he have celery and carrots in his bolognese? I sure hope he does. He certainly is a strong bolognese, this guy. Oh, maybe maybe he deglazed his bolognese in red wine. Oh, I hope I hope it's a good bolognese. Oh shit. Uh, um. Oh. Um. Okay. Hello, Mikus, my good friend. You are definitely a destroyer who is about to do crazy things. I will not be able to survive this. We are about to take a lot of torp hits. That rhymed. That wasn't on purpose. But it did. And I feel accomplished. Okay. That was a very, very long time for the guns to turn around. I will say that. We got more? Oh, let's go, Nelson. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, we're dead. I'm about to get slapped by Grandma. I don't like that, man. I'm not a fan of Grandma slaps, but, um... As long as it's not with the Bible. It feels so weird when it's with the Bible, man. And we kind of clipped him. Yeah, why do, I, why do I keep referring to a Bible? It's because my dad was like, Well, when I was a kid, we could hit children. And my, f my mom would hit me with a Bible, and I never quite understood it. And I'm like, yes, I get that, Dad. Like, getting hit with a Bible is that that's kind of, you know, kind of counterproductive. <laughs> it's late to request Republic? Yeah, it probably is. The last ship I'll play here is Daring, guys. Man, Mikus, what a lad. Alright, we need to check out the OH-64. Bernays. Bernays is epic. Bernays sauce? Epic. Oh. H 64 Oh wait. This is what the little bird is based off. What what was I thinking about then? Uh Korean war helicopter. It's really ugly. It's like it's one of the ugliest helicopters in the world. Yeah, this one. Oh, the shoe. Somebody did say that the A How do you is that shoe? Shoe? 
S seal? I don't know. Yeah, this thing looks super weird, man. Oh, that's epic. That's an epic chopper right there. Anyways, enough chopper looking. Speaking of warplanes, the Soviet I-16. Oh yeah, the Polikarpov I-16? Uh, it was actually really good in the time of the mid-30s, which is shocking considering that the early USSR were talking about. Plus, it looks cute. Yeah, the, the I-16 is one of the ugliest planes in the world, but cute at the same time. Pronounce Soe. Shoe. Shoe. Okay, that makes sense. Shoe. Okay. Thanks, bro. Well, final game of the stream, guys. So we're gonna do daring. We're gonna we're gonna get some daring gameplay here, you know. Who dares wins? I like Zoe better. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a Native American tribe, but I've always like it. Not it. I've not never wanted to pronounce it just because it. it I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, Andrew Cunningham. He's on Jervis, so he's probably set up for daring. Yeah, we're gonna take a chance here. Sue, oh Sue, is the event about Jaeger? No, actually not. It's uh, it's a free it's a free to play friendly event. Hi hi. You can actually get a legendary commander for ten thousand of these tokens, which is grindable. It's it's grindable, so it's actually a somewhat nice event. Anyways, in three, two, one, go. Oh man. Speaking of warplanes, by the way, Fried Cake, does anybody know what happened to World of Warplanes? <laughs> Did you guys know that there is a game called World of Warplanes? It exists! <laughs> but it's probably the deadest game in the world. I actually I was hoping that they were gonna release a Blitz version of it because I yeah, as you know, I love I love playing aircraft games. I, I just love it. From Somali pirates to wokeness to World War II discussion, this stream has it all. Exactly, bro. I'm a variety streamer, man. Yeah, I'm just disguised as a Blitz streamer. <laughs> you know what? That's why I love streaming. Uh, I can just speak my mind, and there's 37 people here to say, you know, their opinion. It's it's a lot more interesting than just having a monologue with myself, which is pretty much what I'm doing here. I mean, if if you if you don't know I'm streaming, this looks like a, a delusional monologue between one guy and a screen. Well, the warplanes never heard of it. <laughs> it's actually it exists, and it looks like Mikhail plays. Can you recommend it? Because I actually love playing, like I said, aircraft games. And I know War Thunder exists, but you know everybody knows War Thunder. Is it worth playing? Yeah, <laughs> bro, play War. Th <laughs> exactly what I knew. I mean, yeah, I know I should just play War Thunder, but it's I don't know. War Thunder is the go-to, and it's a really good game. But I don't know, there's something about the um, the World of Warplanes. It's like so niche, nobody knows about it. Is the commander good for Venezia? Mm, I suppose he is. I mean, he's got Mist Weaver Plus, he's got Sap Plus. Um, off. Look. Well, I kind of, I should expect to see either Red or Naz in some kind of DD <laughs> blanking somewhere. Yeah, we're, we're taking a lot of damage here. We're just going to run away. Alright, now we're going to do this. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, that's not mine. Mine was in this game, but I, I don't think he's playing that right there. I thought you were playing a Sound the Wii? No, Sound the Wii. What are you playing? Republic, right? Louisiana. Okay, we have to go. We're taking damage. The situation is under control. Yeah, we're just... Nah, nope, 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 nope. Two people aiming at me? That's not good. And there's also Rogolo on my flank. I, I need to just leave. Let's go and deal with the DD instead. War Thunder Mobile is a little strange to play. Uh, at least the aircraft gameplay, I agree with you. It's kind of weird. But I, I actually, I kind of, I like, I like War Thunder Mobile. But that's because I mostly play tanks. But I will say their naval game, I'm a big fan of it, actually. I'm a very big fan of their naval game. It's World of Warships Blitz done right, in my opinion. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna shoot a little bit of random torpedoes, you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hello, Naz. We're right here. Yeah, go for Naz. Go for Naz. He's got sap. We don't. We don't want to. We don't want to get sapped. It's dangerous. Yeah. Okay. Now we go for Somers. Go for Somers. Go for Somers. Go for Naz. Fuck him up. <laughs> Fuck him up, my clever friend. Oh, what's that? That's Worcester shells. Ah, I'm not a big fan of that. Oh my god, so why does Somers hurt so much? We're leaving. <sighs> I'm not a I'm just I don't enjoy daring at all. Like this this ship just feels boring, man. I know it's good. I know it's a great ship, but I, I every time I played I'm like I I know wh now why I don't grind this ship. It leaves me wanting more when I play it. But I know how good it is. Let's make sure we don't see a Rogolo all of a sudden. Yeah, get him. Get him, mate. Get him. Yeah. Good job. All right, now we can move on. PC version. Yeah, I mean, the PC version obviously is better. But I I, I, I like more Thunder Mobile. Really do. I, and you guys should give it a chance. If you just want some variety, give it a chance. It's, it's quite interesting. It's a lot more realistic. Or at least punishing than this game is. I don't know if realistic. I, I I don't think a lot of games are realistic when it comes to naval shooters, but it feels more realistic. It's more immersive. Okay, um Worcester's dead. Oh fuck, I need to leave, man. Oh no no no, he's going for a CV! Shit! <laughs> no! He's found out. He found out where he is. We need to take him out now. Get him. Get this interloper. Attention. A red spy is in the base. No. 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 Oh, he survived. Okay. Well, I mean, it's the CV. It would have been fine if he died. Worth on the mobile is very boring, in your opinion. Did you play the, the tank version, Ray, or the naval version? Because I I think, yes, you're right. The naval version is not as fun as Blitz is. It's way more action-packed, and that's... At least for me, that's what a game should be. Worth on the naval doesn't quite hit the mark on that. Even though I've, I've, I have high tier in Worth on the mobile. It's, it's not the same. It's more realistic, more immersive, way slower, not as fun. But the tank game, I think, is perfect for mobile. <laughs> almost. Almost. But I, I, did, I did catch myself. I was like, you know, Naz, if you had killed that guy, I would have rooted for you. I mean, I don't know what's going on up there, but I think Enchanted Bananas is having a field day, bro. I wish that was me right there. Just all this, you're out flanking and all of a sudden you find a CV out of nowhere. Like, that is a gift from the gods. Wow, your CV spammed me the entire game. What are you playing, Lime? Oh, you're not even playing Louisiana. I mean, that's kind of stupid for the CV to do, because you actually have somewhat decent AA. Don't say that, Hogberg. Shh. Shh. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't root for no CV. No, 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 no. You guys, you guys heard wrong. Trust me. <laughs> I just play World of Tanks, Blitz for Tanks. I don't know. I, I find World of Blitz, World of Blitz Tanks, World of Tanks Blitz to be fun. But compared to War Thunder's tank game, it's not the same at all. The graphics are insanely good in War Thunder Mobile. And also, the, I like the damage models in the tank game. I, I think it, it makes a lot of sense, the damage models in War Thunder. It's, you know, you, you, you know, if you know where to shoot with a tiger, if you know where to shoot the cupola or... You know, the little nipple where the, the coaxial machine gun is. You could do a lot of damage, but... I don't know. It's all personal preference. Can you check? Just click the event. Which, which one? So, there's... Oh, this is a login event. 
the challenges. Here's the metarazzi. You got this one, where five battles, then you gotta do five wins, and 25 ships. And you can do that every day, so that's already pretty pretty good amount of those tokens. And then there's... Uh... What? Oh, here it is. You get 100 wins, then you get 12,900 of these. So... This is what you got here, same as always. And uh, then we have this one, same as always. Up next, we have the crate. The crate is pretty fucking boring, in my opinion. Should have been Black Colombo instead of Napoli, considering we can buy it in the shipyard right now. So again, Wargaming blatantly trying to scam people. Or whatever you want to call it. This guy's new. Pretty good commander. Especially for Rogolo, if you don't have Paolo. And that's it. There's nothing else. Well, guys. We are done. That was it. <laughs> I'm going to grind for balls later. Did you know what, guys? I wish you all a good ball grind. Really grind those balls, you know. Re really get it nice and tight. Remove all the sweat. You gotta get that heat friction with the balls. What the fuck is going on, man? What am I saying? I think it's good my stream is ending now. Just got the set T set 88 north on the mobile. Which one is that? Set T set 88. I don't know what the hell that is. Is that a tank? Yo, you should add me, by the way, Ray, if you want. I don't play very often, but it w I don't have any friends in War Thunder Mobile, so it would be kind of nice to have somebody to play with. Oh, it's oh, it's a Chinese tank. Wait, do you have the Tunguska? Uh, Ray, do you have the Tunguska, the Chinese version, this thing? I love the Tunguska. I'm an I'm an guys. I'm an AA man in War Thunder. Just saying. Uh, we gotta get the SPAA. This thing, bro? Woo -hoo -hoo. I love the Tunguska. You got the 35mm cannons? Oh, bro. I, I only play AA. And my favorite, my favorite is... Why can't I remember the name now? The Gepard. Oh, my God. The Gepard, bro. The Cheetah. Oh! Give me! Put this on my, my ships and World of Warships and we can have a good day, man. Look at this. No, no, no planes are going to get into this. I just sit in War Thunder Mobile and look up into the sky and wait for planes. That's all I do. And it's glorious. I love shooting them down. Yeah, guys, the stream is over. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just blabbering. <laughs> Tunguska China version, Russian AA. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, the Tunguska is definitely Russian and not <laughs> Chinese. But uh, apparently in this game, they put it on the Chinese tech tree. Yeah, man, this thing is just fun. But must have gone crazy, <laughs> rooted for the CV and then squeezing ball. <laughs> yeah, man, you guys should probably just hop off uh, before this this goes crazy. You also have the Gepard. I just I don't know. It, I know it's not the best plane. Oh, sorry, ship. Tank. It's a tank. It's not a plane. It's not a ship. It's a tank. But I just love it. There's something about this. Yeah, the Leopard A1. I love. I, I mean, I just love German tanks in general, and I've been inside a Leopard, so of course I had to get that. I've never been inside a Gepard, but damn, I would. I would love this. If if I could buy this one day when I'm like retired, I will. I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but you know, after World War Three, there's probably gonna be some of these laying around. You know, they're gonna be obsolete by then. It's because it has a different name. Can you remember it from? this picture here i don't know what the real name is but it, it looks like a gepard and i think it's a little bit better because it has sams on it but yeah this is the tunguska with the radar down this is when it has the radar up made the boobs be with us hell yeah bro thank you so much hogberg guys everybody thanks for coming along this was again great stream we had a lot of fun talked about i don't know who, who mentioned it but yeah we talked about everything world war ii wokeism uh something else boobs balls wow what a mature stream we had today and on that note thank you guys for coming along my name has been bubloon aka pavloon and um yeah i'll just leave you with this picture of awesome anti-aircraft guns oh seven my friends i'll talk to you later my name has been bubloon aka pavloon and i'm signing out <laughs>